it. Welcome to Wine About Welcome It. Welcome to Florida. Welcome to Florida. We work here now. Why are we doing this right now? I don't really know. Normally, we do Wine About It on Sundays. It is a Thursday. It is a Thursday. We just what? came back You're from... You're so dumb. Don't say, don't say, why are we doing this? I don't really know. Why, why did... I was segueing. It was bad. <laughs> well, the segue was that Cutie's... I've had a day. <laughs> that was the segue. <laughs> well, let's just start with me. Is that me. Cutie's brain has been broken all day. So how we're going to run a four-hour podcast back right now, I'm not really sure, but we did want to ride the momentum of her crying about Girls Trip Stream. Yeah, I cried about it. If That's you, why we're live. If you watched or listened, audio listeners, um, if you watched or listened, audio listeners, <laughs> last month's podcast, you heard my exciting announcement about Girls Trip, and I was like, it's going to be so fun. And then we're going to come back next episode. We're going to talk about it. It's going to be so cool. Um, so we're here to talk about it. Uh, if you are only fans of our podcast, which many people are. Some people don't watch our streams. They only watch our podcast. If you're... Oh, my gosh. I don't know why you said it like that. What? I don't know. I just thought you were talking about something else. Hello? Sorry. Continue. Um, there are many people... We don't have an OnlyFans, just for the record. But OnlyFans, if you want to sponsor our podcast. We're going to talk about that today. Not, well, not uh, that. We're going to talk about OnlyFans. Yeah. I'm starting OnlyFans because I lost $40,000 on She's this She's not, but she would make a lot of money. And we'll talk about that. I received an evaluation. Actually, I didn't. No, you didn't. We should, we should call Alinity and have her evaluate how much she thinks we would make and then be offended when mine is lower than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in the script, everybody. We will be calling Alinity later. She doesn't know it yet, okay, but I'm we done. are going to be calling her. I don't um, remember. I don't think. Ignore that. Okay. Anyway, we have to recap because maybe some of y'all in the chat saw my lovely stream, um, which was a bait to bring you into whine about it. Whine about it. Whine about this it. This whole thing was a bait for whine about it, actually. Yeah, there was never a girl's trip. It was all trip. fake. <laughs> there was never a girl's trip. This was all fake. Yeah. Um, it, uh, it, 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 it failed, my trip. Um, audio listeners and loyal fans that only listen to the podcast, the trip did not work out. Um, we started yesterday. Yesterday was the first day of the trip. We had the kickoff. It had almost 30,000 viewers. Um, it averaged 25K the whole time, and it was like, it was sick. I think people had lots of fun. It was really funny. If you haven't watched it, uh, you can, the VOD, you know, check it out, or the whole entire uh, thing YouTube is video. edited on my YouTube, YouTube video. video. So, like, Whatever you want to do, you know, check it out. It was genuinely pretty funny. Um, but then we, you know, we, we hung out all night. We woke up this morning to the bad news that one of the girls tested positive for COVID. Um, the rest of us tested negative, thank goodness. But, you know, one positive is, imagine if you were, like, if one positive could be a baby. You know, that's a lot. You can't just, you can't just pretend there's no positives in the world. Do you know where I'm going with this? No. Like, if we were, like, people are like, oh, it's positive, like, COVID. Uh-oh. Yeah, guys, if there were 10 of us in a room and we all took a pregnancy test and one of us was positive, we would freak out. No matter what, you freak out if there's one positive. No matter what, you're freaking out. Are oh, we like, on the same page? She, no, she's been crying all day. We're on the same page. I'm, I apologize in advance for what Cutie says tonight that makes no sense. I've... That, I'm, like, actually felt like your brain is... is the wiring is messed up. It is. I know. I'm actually exhausted. Yeah. I spent so long <laughs> on this event. So long. Oh my god. So long. So much money. So anyway, much time. nobody's nobody's having having babies, but yeah, someone tested positive. So uh, we considered continuing streams at the house at the Airbnb, and then decided that it was safest and most responsible to just send everybody home to to quarantine and isolate on their own. Which so, was a hard call. I don't. I, I think we need to like talk about that decision factor more because it was not easy uh knowing that everything was non-refundable and, um, and everyone was there having a good time streaming and everybody got themselves there and it was this big event that had all this hype and there was merch and there were sponsors to to uphold to do streams for yeah and there was this whole schedule and a bunch of irl events that were planned and reserved tours, cafes, nail salons, goat yoga, pottery studios, all reserved, all had to be called and canceled on and not refunded. 
Um, a few of them were nice, and they're like, oh, yeah, you can move it. Um, we'll just keep your deposit for now if you ever move it. Uh, I don't know what yet. I know there was something. I can't think of the top of my head because I had my assistant's call because I was dealing with deciding if we need to cancel it and stuff. But we made a lot of phone calls. Like, we called we called other streamers and got their <laughs> opinions. I, um, I, called, uh, I called Myth. And asked what he thought, and he, he said the same thing. He's like, the safest thing to do is call it off. And yeah, Myth called... was the biggest fan, too, so he was, like, crying all yeah. day. Yeah, he's just been crying all day. And then I call Rich Campbell, and I was like, Rich, I need your advice. This is what happened this morning. I don't know what to do with the stream. And I was like, yeah, one of the girls this morning tested positive, and he's like, oh, God. And I was like, yeah, so we're all going to take rapid stay. And he's like, oh, oh, COVID. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, did you think I was talking about a pregnancy test? And he was like, no, my first thought was AIDS. <laughs> I was like, Rich, what? <laughs> like, what? He, 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 I guess he watched some movie that, like, was Matthew McConaughey or something that had to do with AIDS. And so it was just, like, on the forefront of his mind. But he was like, oh, my, you scared me so bad. Okay, you guys will be fine. Don't even worry about it. Like, here's what I would do. Um, yeah. So. So we got a lot of opinions. Uh, we we talked to you know we talked to like yeah Dallas Bars Club my agency. We talked to sponsors. We talked to like I said other streamers. We called parents. I, yeah, I was on the phone with my mom and dad, and I was like, "What do we, we had do? had a conference what meeting mean? with her parents. <laughs> yeah, <on> speaker. <laughs> told her about her. Told them. You know what? I'm not even funny anymore. I can't make jokes. Oh, that's a great start. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a lovely podcast because I am, as you guys know, I'm the funny one. She is the dumb one, so. All she does is cry. <laughs> it's been a long day. All she does is eat hot chip and cry about her I don't events. even like hot chip because it's so hot. It makes me cry more, <laughs> honestly. Um, but, yeah, like, okay, so let's let's talk about our options a little bit. Like, okay. we're humans. Us, chat. You're, you're, True. We're having a meeting, all of us, about this, you know. It's a round table. It's a round table. Like, a girl tests positive for COVID, I'm like, dink donk, and all of us fill up the amphitheater, and I'm like, let's vote. This is a democracy. What do you guys think? Let's Can have a town hall. start drinking, though? Oh, yes. Before we really yes. get into this? She brought ice today. I brought ice. We always drink red wine, but now it's <sighs> white. Fancy day on a Thursday. We do white wine on With Thursdays. With ice on a Thursday? I got ice because we, it's, it's been sitting in this shed. <laughs> I don't have a wine fridge. I don't have room in my fridge for wine because no one here drinks besides me. Um, okay. And so, yeah, we've got we got some white wine. And I will say, last time we asked the people of the the YouTube comments if um, if they enjoy the wine moment. And the good news is they said yes because they're Sims and they love you. And I thought a lot of them. Happy. I was gonna say they all said no. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I hate you. They all said no, but it's important to me, so we're doing it anyway. If this is what keeps our podcast holy, I will keep being holy. I'm sorry, guys. This is the best I have today. I've never been less funny. Besides at the streamer awards, but that was... I yeah, was, we were really not funny. I was nervous. I was trying my best. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody, by the way. As I would say, happy Cinco de Mayo today, everybody. <laughs> oh, my God. I get over this. It's this going to be terrible. It's I saw on... So on, why are you in our chat? More problems. Why are you in our chat when you ruined my girl's trip? I don't even think he's in here. I don't know. I just saw people adding him. Okay, audio listeners, I am carefully opening this. Audio listeners, I've done it. Audio listeners. He was. Oh. I am now. Hello, it's on. Using. Apologize. Our wine opener that sounds like a power tool. A power tool, right? That's what it sounds like. We sell those corks, by the way, on eBay, if anyone. Welcome to Florida. Hassan, is this your first time watching Wine About It? Here's what actually happened. Here's the actual leaks, everybody. Last night. Oh, <laughs> I was going to make a joke that this I made is, this morning. I literally can't. Stop. This is my moment. So, so you always talk through it. All right. Audio listeners, please take a quiet listen to this. White wine hitting ice cubes. 
This is a, a, a Saint Chateau Michel. Oh, sorry. Um, a, I, I can't actually She's do a, a French sexy. accent. What does it say? And also American. What does it say? What does it say, Saint Chateau Michel? <laughs> that doesn't say Saint. I don't know what that abbreviation is. But that is Saint. Is S T E an abbreviation for Saint? Yeah. Really? S T maybe. S T E. It is. Oh my god, I'm just. Don't sick. sit here. And make fun of my issues. Anyway, this is a, a, a Riesling. You don't get any. <laughs> oh my god, yes I do. This is sadly the point of the podcast, or I wouldn't share. I hate white wine. Thank you. Um, so here's Wait, the I'm story. not done. Oh my god, with what? Uh, Riesling, Columbia Valley, 2020 is the year on this. It's pretty good. Um... In this Saint Chateau Michel was established in 1967. The bottle is beautiful, I would say. It's one of our prettier bottles. We don't have very many pretty bottles. It is our first white. Uh, please take a sip, Maya. <laughs> I was trying so hard to make a loud sip that I choked on it. <laughs> oh, it smells terrible. It's not bad. It tastes like grape juice. Oh, my God. I would just like to say... That the reason I said happy Cinco de Mayo is because Jason texted me and said no margaritas on Cinco de Mayo. And then he texted me again and he said, this text is not an excuse to use me as a topic and or call me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I <would> like Why? To, <laughs> I would like to make it very clear that the reason we call ex-boyfriends on this podcast is to get more fans and viewers. It's doing so great. It's going It's great. worked so well, one for one. I'd also like to say that Jason and I have rekindled our friendship. We're friends again. We've we've FaceTimed. We've like texted. It's crazy. I That's it. it. We're calling my ex. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> I don't have. So thanks, wine about it for that. One good breakup. I got one. I don't have any we could call. I have one we could call, but I think he'd be a little annoyed because I've already farmed him for content one time. Oh right. On the Austin show. Mm-hmm. But he's the only one I'd be kind of down to call. Um, the other ones wouldn't answer. Um, anyway, as we were, what were we saying? I was going to say, because Hassan was in the chat and he's definitely not anymore, so maybe I can make the joke now. I was going to make the joke that I made this morning, but I can't make that joke. I don't know what it was. About Hassan. Oh my God. (laughs) So we tweeted, we tweeted the thing out that we were like, oh, the event's canceled. (laughs) And then, and then Hassan replied and was like, I'm sorry. Uh, and then... Maya, go ahead and make the joke. I think it's. A, I think we're. Are we past ten minutes? Would, I don't think you'd like the joke. Are we past ten minutes? <laughs> Can like we make it. the joke? I just made a joke about. Not, it wasn't even a good joke. Hassan hates these jokes. It was just that Hassan, like you know, did his rounds. <laughs> that he made a visit to the hotel. He made a visit. <laughs> he made a visit to a hotel girls' trip. It's a bad joke, and that's why we all have COVID. And uh, actually, we don't all have COVID, but that's why everyone tested COVID. positive <laughs> with either an STD. Or pregnancy tests, or COVID due to Hassan. It was actually roulette, roulette <laughs> tests this morning. We all took one of each. Thanks, Hassan. Cheers. <clears throat> Wait, what did he just say in chat? <laughs> uh, <laughs> chat's moving so fast they won't know that I'm pregnant. <laughs> now you're pregnant. He said, "WTF?" He said, "WTF?" Um. I don't know why we make jokes like that. He hates them. About Hassan. He does hate them. It's just because he's conventionally attractive and people like saying that he's hot. And so the joke yeah. is that he gets it, you know? Yeah. But uh, one time, so Maya had to stay at Hassan's. We haven't talked about this. Last time you had to stay at Hassan's overnight. Oh my god, the vlog? Yeah. Maya had to stay. And I told I told Hassan about this vlog and he was Wait, like. Wait, can I preface before this gets weird by saying like staying at Hassan's was so chill. He, he was like, pick any of these rooms. They're all, like, made up and so nice. And he was like, do you want a little shampoo? Do you want to take a shower? I'll give you a little shampoo. And I was like, thank you, but it's okay. Like, I'm good. He was so nice. Can I say, can I say that? One time, this is so funny. One time, this is a, a sidetrack, so everyone pay attention to the normal leaf. We're going to go back to it. One time Hassan said on his stream, like, forever ago, when Ludwig was, like, a 300 viewer Andy, he, like, he would watch Hassan, and Hassan, Chad Hassan, was like, 
Yeah, boys, you should always keep your cabinet stocked with tampons. The girls think that's super hype. Oh my you know? god, Hassan. Like, yeah, Hassan, you said that. Don't pretend like you didn't. He did not offer me um, a tampon, but... That's messed up. You didn't know if she was bleeding or not. What if I was? He's actually, he's so used to women, he could, like, smell it at this point. He think would know. Of, ew! Ew! <laughs> think, of the, think of the five. You know the wor one of wait, the worst wait, jokes I, I ever got? I, yes. No. Just because you just said Let's come back. Thing. By the way, we're going to come back to this leaf. BB, I was in a really bad mood one day, and uh -huh. I was streaming with Slick. Oh, God. And he comes up to me, and he goes, you smell like pennies. <gasps> Ew. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> it was really funny. Okay. Well, coming on back. To, Maybe. to to Hassan saying that on his stream about the okay. tampons. Yeah. Ludwig Ludwig is big streamer now. Yeah. Right? He watched Hassan, Famous. looked up to Chad Hassan. Ludwig's big streamer. Ludwig's on stream. And he's giving his chat advice. And he's like, yeah, chat. Oh so uh, you should always keep tampons under your sink. And I knew this advice was from Hassan. And now Ludwig, pretending like he even knows where to buy a tampon, <laughs> is like giving this advice. And I'm like, what the f***? He's and a he, makeup remover. He, oh, it was tampons. Whatever. It was some, one of those. I don't, it, you, you said tampons, Hassan. You get the point. Shut the f*** up. I know what you said. Don't gaslight me. Only men can guess, like. That's true. <laughs> um, I stole that from Maya today, actually. I said that today to Lud. Um, but yeah, and then and then Ludwig tampon remover, yeah. Ludwig stole Ludwig stole that and gave that tip to his chat, and I was like, you shut the f up. Both of you are dumb. Um, but anyway, back to the original story. Maya had to stay at Hassan's house, um, for a night because I simply didn't want her here. Um, and I was like, Maya. What are you there? You should make a vlog about like twelve hours at Hassan's house. I still haven't <laughs> him. Like, like, like eleven hours at Hassan's house. I can smell him. I still haven't <laughs> him. Like like a twenty four hours. Like take it so I'm sorry, serious. I'm so sorry. Please don't please don't ban me from saying it. <laughs> Anyway, she made the vlog. Saw, it's coming out next week. I did not week. make the vlog. I did not make the vlog. But it was really funny. It was funny. Like, was imagine really he's, like, husband. sleeping. She's like, I can hear him snoring. I don't <laughs> know how I'm going to contain myself. Because, like, guys, there are... Listen, I love Hassan with my whole heart. And, um... But there are, like... There are women that, like... Like, send him nudes in the mail. I had an Uber driver once. Complete normie. She didn't know who anyone on Twitch was, who anyone on Twitch was, but she knew who Hassan was, and she talked to me for like a full forty minutes in the car about how much she wanted to have sex with him. Yeah, she yeah. was like, "He's so hot, and he's so smart, and he's just like, he's my dream. Like, I just wish I could be with him. I just like, he's so cool." Meanwhile, she's like dropping you off at Hassan's she, house, and you're like, "No, I do you have you you do not understand how hard it was for me to not tell her that I was." Oh my god! There. Actually, she straight up dropped me at Hassan's house, and I. I didn't, I couldn't tell her, because what I'm going to be like, oh, you're dropping me off at his, at his a house, your, his address is in your, is in your GPS yeah. right now. I told her that I was a streamer, and I was like, yeah, I'm just hanging out with some friends, like, we're just shooting, we're just, like, making a video, you know, shooting a video, and she's talking to me for, like, 40 minutes about how much she loves Hassan, and then she drops me off at Hassan's house. I did not say a word, but it was yeah. hard, let me tell you. That's crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's absurd. She doesn't watch Twitch, she certainly doesn't watch me. Yeah. Well probably wine about it wine about it's famous by the way taking over to people people said there was somebody there was like a reddit clip of like uh, a youtuber that i two youtubers that are friends with moist critical by the way that were He's famous. recording a, a video on a couch and they're like oh we look like cutie cinderella and maya in wine about it not even kidding oh my god we're famous it was crazy i don't know what hassan said what did hassan, hassan said say w? dude i have her number because she was a female Uber driver in LA, and so I'll, I request her because I don't like riding with men because they scare me and give me the. I didn't know you can request people. If you, well, I literally have her phone number because I was like, hey, can I like text you for rides? And she's like, yeah. Wow. So if I can, I could say you what. Was she pretty? Yeah, she was pretty. <sighs> well, that is better than most of the people has. I'm just kidding. Oh my god. I'm just kidding. God. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know any of the people. By the way, if you've slept with Hassan, I don't know who you are. I just wanted to make a joke. Hassan, I'm sure you sleep with beautiful women. 
I'm sorry. I really don't know anyone he slept with. I'm thinking. I can't think of any. I'm sure they're beautiful. I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> girls trip. Girls trip. Trip with the ladies. He's with Jandy. He's with Jamie's. Um, I don't know why we went on their end. Oh, because Hassan snuck into the house and... Thank you for the... Uh, gave everyone coded the five, five gifted Haas. Five. Haas on Twitch. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start when talking about girls trip. I if, mean, if you missed the opening ceremonies, you should go look at the YouTube video. We already said that. Yeah, I mean, we already <laughs> talked about it. Everybody knows what happened. Everybody, Everybody knows what's up. It was a hard It was a hard call to make. It was especially hard because Cutie and I talked about it for like an hour just in our bedroom. And we're like, what do we do? What do we do? Meanwhile, the breakfast stream is going on. Yeah. And we're like, what do we do? What do we do? And then we decided that we were just going to call the whole thing. So we go out and we tell all the girls, oh. we're just calling it. And all the girls are like... No. no, it's fine. We'll just stream in the house. We'll quarantine together. And then Cutie texts me and she's like, I feel crazy right now. Like, yeah, I Should did. we not cancel it? And I was like, I think everybody just feels bad because the most responsible thing to do in that situation is to cancel it, right? Like, I don't know that much about COVID, but I, it's just like not worth the risk. It's it's also setting an example, you know, like we've, we've been exposed. Like we shouldn't just be like hanging out, frat partying, you know, like drinking from yeah. solo cups, whatever. There's surface transmission. It's all over the house. Like... It was just not, it was just not a good idea. They just felt bad. So we went back and forth for a really long time. Yeah, we called a lot of people. We went back and forth. We like, like, okay, so our options were, number one, lie and pretend like it never happened and just go on our lives, do nothing about it. Nobody knows. Would for all never, they know, no way. she went home with a migraine. We would never do that, for no. the record. We, that was, I say it's an option, but it's not an option, option. we would ever choose. Option number two is say, oh, you go home, and whoever shared a room with you go home, whoever was close in vicinity with you go home, cut that part out of the trip, have a smaller group stay, and still quarantine slash isolate together, and just move everything to the house, so we wouldn't leave to go to the vineyard or anything like that. We'd get like some wine delivered, and we'd try different wines. Like, can we just do it at the house? Uh, it's an interesting idea, but unfortunately, if anybody has like, gotten it from her, her and they're incubating then it, it could just keep it could spread like a wildfire so then option number three is just cancel the whole thing and after a lot of conversation we went with that one um so yeah this one said it wasn't raining was it it may have been in florida <laughs> it might have been in florida it might have been uh, those leaks were so funny, by the those way. Those leaks were we really about, funny. Dude, Andrea leaked twice. She's on the pancake stream, and she's like, wow, it's only 9.30. And and Alex goes, in Florida? And, <laughs> and Andrea goes, oh, no, it's 11.30, which is still wrong. <laughs> like, it's still not the time in Florida. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then Andrea tweeted on her phone the first night because Ming tweeted for her the K-pop tweet. And Andrea has locations on her tweets yeah, for some crazy. reason. So it goes, tweeted from Los Angeles, California. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Our Papega uh, queen. Oh my god, I love I'll her. say, okay, for the record, yes, we didn't go to Florida. Um, Are you okay? Do you hear thunder? Is it raining? No. Oh, I thought I just heard noise. That's weird. Um, yeah, anyway, sorry. Um... For the record, the reason we said Florida was genuinely just to... So, if you guys remember, like, the kickball stream that, that Ludwig did um, for camp, so many viewers were showing up. So many viewers were showing up. Mm -hmm. And so, we just didn't want people showing up to any of our IRL streams. We didn't want... It's just like... It just wasn't... Yeah, we can't... The hope, yeah, the hope was just to throw people off the, the trail. Thank you for the five gifted... Oh, oh Ari. Ari. Dude, yeah. girls trip, trip for the ladies. Thank you so um, much. So, yeah, we were just trying to throw people off, and I realized we did it bad. Ugh. I also leaked it before I left. You did? I didn't see anyone say anything about it, uh -huh. but I was talking about leaving, and I was like, guys, I'm going to be in California for 10 days. Yeah. That's the longest I've ever been gone from Alves, and nobody said anything in my chat, but then afterwards, Space was like, you said you were going to be in California 10 days, and I was like, oh. How are you going to a vineyard in Florida? Well, I Googled it. They actually have vineyards in Florida. Everything that we had as an activity, I double-checked and made sure it existed in Florida. I'm not kidding. They have cat cafes in Florida. Wow. They do. Um, but 
Yeah, we. I just didn't want people to show up. Um, I knew people would figure it out eventually, but we were just trying to, you know, a little alleviate them. It's weird because it's like, we wouldn't have to do that if you guys weren't so creepy. <laughs> Yeah. And Even, also, people weren't creepy. They genuinely would show up because they wanted a picture with people. Like, they were just, they're sweet and they're fans and it's, like, exciting. But, um... Even Rich, when I called him this morning, I was like, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. And he's like, so you're stuck in Florida, huh? And I was like, no, Rich. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, the issue is, is next time we're going to actually have to go to Florida. Because <laughs> everyone... Ten! Yo! I, I don't have my glasses. I have no idea what your username is, but thank you so much. Um... <clears throat> So, yeah, so, we're, yeah. we will, we're going to have to actually go to Florida next time, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, because you guys just won't believe us. And everyone's saying, Pog, next time. I can't think about it yet, but. We'll do it again. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm, because I'm not even going to do it again. I'm just going to do it successfully, eventually. I just can't think about it after spending a month yeah, losing yeah. my mind over it. She'll do it. Then I'll do it. it. That's how my brain works. After every single event, I'm like, I'm never going to do that again. Um, but, I mean, I already, I literally already booked camp. Camp's booked <laughs> for this year. So, and it, as soon as camp ended, I was like, I'm never Can doing this ever again. Costs? No, because I don't want them to find anything out. Okay. Yeah. They'll learn about it later. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. Girls trip will happen. It's I'm very I'm still very very passionate about it happening. I hope we can get sponsors. Um, <laughs> yeah, and we didn't we didn't talk about that on this stream slash the podcast. Is how this event works. How events for me work is I put all the money into it. I'm like I take it out of my bank account. I put it in and I hope that sponsors pay for it or merch. And I just want to break even. I don't care about making money off these things. I mean, someday I will, but right now I just really, it's the only thing that I find interesting in my job is planning these events and bringing people together and it makes me happy. And so that's why I do it so much is I just, I just want to, I just want to be happy. Um, and so that's why they do the events. And uh, we did have enough sponsors to nearly cover it, covered about 80% of it. And I was like, oh, we can make the other 20% in merch. That's going to be no problem. Um, but then we couldn't do two of our sponsored streams. So, so they pulled out. So of course they pulled out because they Cause can't. They, to. They, yeah. do, they have no stream to <laughs> sponsor. Um, so we went from 80% of the event covered to 20% of the event covered, which is the first event that I have lost money on. Yay. People clap. Uh... That's all right. We're it considering happens. today auctioning off the paintings tomorrow with, with my auction bot or with Space's auction bot. Yeah. I think we will be doing that. I think we'll be auctioning off the paintings that the girls painted. Um, oh my God, that's disgusting. Yeah, to make some money back. Um, how much did it cost in total? About 60K. And I don't want to say how much s sponsors cover but right. yeah that yeah almost would have um, almost been would have almost been but now not so much so yeah 60k very yeah, cool i mean chad it's it's the it's the airbnb rental all of the irl events booking out a whole pottery studio booking a self-defense class having goat yoga people come to your location Paying for security. Yeah, She's we had for all of our we had meals. Seven like k in security alone. Yeah, we're, you guys don't understand. When we do these events, we have a we have multiple security guards on site, twenty four seven, yeah. and then we have security guards going with us to every single of IRL, driving us to them. Like we we want to make sure we're very very safe, and it's not, it is not cheap. Um, yeah. So yeah, it just the, the just. Yeah, it all it all adds up. We spend about two k with twenty girls. It's about two k in food every single day. Um, yeah, she's ordering food for everybody. Yeah, off her. This is my card. money, which is fine. I I think whenever for some reason whenever I talk about money with these things, some people get a little weird. Um, but people are saying two k in food, Omegle, bro. Sixteen girls, three meals a day. Sixteen girl, yeah. Are you serious? And you have to tip. I, I you have to tip the delivery like. driver. 
Yeah. Like, I'm. this is including tips. And this is L.A. This isn't Florida. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not even... I don't, well, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe a grand. What? I don't know. Food. Unless I just no did way. wrong. Dinner alone last night was $800. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, there you go. I have to tip 20% and then... You can't not tip 20%. That's yeah. messed up. Well, um, anyway. There you go. Uh, and it's LA food. It's LA food. It's That's a problem. And we're house. in a freaking mansion yeah. in freaking Hollywood. Like, it's just whatever. Go pick up instead. Bro. Yes, let me, let me go leave. Let me go pick up food in the middle of this event that I am like have every minute planned to yes you're right i should i should it's also camera it's also yeah. camera crew like production staff and security that's eating. there's a lot yeah. there's a lot there's a lot anyway anyway i yeah you guys sure you plan your own save money i hate talking thing. about costs with chat me every too dude, when i talk about it all this they're like i could have built that for seven dollars yeah it, it is funny yeah like the uh i don't know i don't know everything adds up every single irl stream has a fee and then they usually charge you a filming fee too that's wild there's multiple fees there's just like there's a lot of stuff and then even the airbnb you have to get extra fees because you have over the amount of people they allow and anyway all this stuff but it all adds up and it's annoying and whatever and the only reason i ever talk about it is to give people the idea of like this is how much these events cost and it's more about my heart than it is about making money and that's what's important to me um so, yeah. It really is. I would, yeah. If my heart is not in it. I would, <laughs> nope. I, uh, I wanted, I want to do, um, I want to do, uh, Alveus Charity Gala. Gala. That would be crazy. The problem with that is. You know, a lot of sponsors. <laughs> you know, a lot of sponsors, and I think it'd be really hard slash impossible to get a bunch of streamers out to two events a year to streamer awards and a gala. Well, we don't need more than 100 people at a gala. Okay, 100 people is a lot. That Not in Texas. We had three... You in Texas? Yeah. Oh. You don't want to? I don't know. We haven't talked about it. You, like, briefly brought it up. I was planning. You'll just have to show up. Okay. <laughs> What's the point of a gala? To raise money for charity, a lot of them. Yeah. Except for, like, the Met Gala. I think, actually, the Met Gala might be... Do they raise money, too? Yeah, I think. I think the whole thing is for charity, but all they talk about is clothes. Yeah. How are the merch sales? I honestly haven't checked on the merch sales. I haven't checked at anything. There's, it has, it's been my last priority. I've, I don't know if you guys know this, but I've had a lot going on. <laughs> uh, I learned today that I don't know how to console my friends when they're crying. Um, <laughs> it, I mean, it's severe. It's really bad. Like she was, she was explaining it to the, to the group of girls. She was telling them what was happening, and she was telling them that, that we were going to call the whole thing off, and she started crying, and I literally went, oh, God. <laughs> and all the girls looked at me like, Maya, oh, my God. But I was like, no, she's fine. She's I fine. am fine. Thank I'm you fine. for the sub, sub. Appreciate it. The cool thing is, is I have this cool thing called, like, disassociation. So when I get so stressed and so sad and so mad, all of a sudden I just go bloop, and I feel nothing. That's so cool. That's really healthy. Yeah, it's healthy. So that's where I'm at right now. I feel absolutely nothing. Um... Yeah, that is sick. I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, uh, I, you know, I've, I, I don't know. I, I mean, think we made the right call. It would be, it would be so bad and so weird if I tried to hug you. No, it would be so or weird. I, I like, actually, well, okay, I hated okay, when I said it because I said it. I was like, guys, we're going to call it off. And I start crying and the whole room goes, aww. Yeah. And I was like, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. I don't like that one bit. Um... But, uh, yeah. My I don't... Give cutie a hug? I, we're not huggers. I would rather not. Neither of us are huggers. I actually don't hug anybody. I've... You we, know who's a hugger hug... is, um, Nikki. She kept yeah. coming up to me just to hug me, and... Wait, we've hugged before. I couldn't say right? no. No. Maybe yeah. for a picture. Oh. 
We haven't hugged for like. Yeah, the photographer had such a hard time getting us to touch too. For, for those pictures that are on the Wine About It Instagram, Wine About It four twenty on Instagram, by the way. By the way. Um. Also on Twitter, it's Wine About It sixty nine on Twitter. We're famous. But we we have we do photo shoots together once a month, so we can post content on there. And the <laughs> photographer's like, all right, like except for put this your month, arms around her. Right. So we have to isolate. <laughs> right. We could take pictures on our own maybe we could try yeah um but the lesbian photos the engagement pics yeah it's just like so awkward i i do think that we've hugged before though not just for a picture i feel like when i don't know i don't think so when i got to the to the to the airbnb for girls trip and cutie got there we didn't we didn't acknowledge each other for like 10 minutes yeah we just started working yeah we're just i was just like i didn't even say hi to her i was like you want me to unload stuff she's like yeah and then i was like hey and she's like hey we hadn't seen each other for a month was that my fault? No, it was both of our faults. What were we going to do? Like, oh my god. Hey, cutie, it's been a month. Whenever you show up, I never even say, like, I've missed you. Ew, ew. Imagine if I said that. Oh my god, that'd be crazy. But, yeah. I do think that we hugged before we were really friends, though. Probably. Like, if we saw each other at an event, be like, hey, how's it going? Cause we I'd saw each other at one event ever, and I definitely didn't hug you because I was livid. The first time I met Cutie Cinderella, I was at a party, and she was yelling at people, and I was so scared. Yeah. You stayed that way. No, I'm not Ever scared since. of you. What? I'm not scared of you anymore. But Lame. Yeah, first party, she was yelling at people, and there were people crying, and I walked in, and it was my first TwitchCon party, and I was like, whoa, this bitch is scary. Anyway. Uh, that's a story for another day. And then I fell off a table. At my house? Yeah. What? Yeah. How? Why were you on it? Drunk. God. Never inviting you to any of my parties. Bish caught me. Ever again. Um, Anyway. Imagine. Imagine. If Girls Trip was going on right now, it's 9... It'd be frat night. It's 9.25. It'd be frat night. It'd be frat night. We were all going to wear Hawaiian shirts and backwards hats, and we were going to make jokes about, like... Licking our power tools and yeah, growing out. Casually and, date. And, oh. <laughs> you know, just frat things. <laughs> and we were, <laughs> we were going to And we were going to. All the women in chat feel fine about oh, that joke, <laughs> by the way. I would like to make that very clear. And we were going to, and we were going to play beer pong and flip cup and rage cage. And, and we were going to play this game with the pool. With a chair. Oh, yeah, we're going to do sink or swim. Sink or swim. So you, you have someone, you're holding sing, a chair. Sorry, sing or sink. Sing or sink. Yeah. And they're leaning in a chair over the pool, and you hold them in the chair, and then you play the song off a speaker, and then you pause it, and they have to sing the lyrics. Or they fall in the pool. And if they can't do it, then you drop them, and they fall in the pool. It was going to be so cool. It would have been so, been so cool. sick. I was so excited. It would have been Yeah, so we got sick. it from TikTok. We had a lot of ideas from TikTok. It was going to be really, really fun, and it was going to be really, really cool, and I was going to get drunk. I never get drunk at my own events, and I was going to I was gonna do it. I was going to I was gonna live up for at night. I was so excited. And we were going to play Shot Among Us. Oh, yeah. That was going to be really cool. So everybody, like, say there's ten girls in a circle. Nine of the shots would be water. One would be vodka. We all take the shot, and then we all have to decide who actually had the vodka shot. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, like, if I were to be like, Alinity had the vodka shot, I nominate Alinity, and if Maya seconds it, and, uh, and we're wrong. we get it wrong, then we, we have, to, have take to take a take shot. shot. But if, she, it, if she, she did take the shot, then she's out and dead. dead. She dies. Dead. Imposter. Yeah, she's the imposter. It would have been so good. It would have been so good, except for it would have been hell explaining it to Brit. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Dude, <laughs> I love Brit. Yeah, she I was I love Brit. You know what's treat. crazy about Brit at the end of the stream is she felt bad. She was like, oh, like, was I too drunk? I'm sorry. And I was like, Brit, if you weren't there, different stream. Like, yeah. you carried the stream we needed you. She was so funny. Yeah, she, she was, was so, so funny. funny. And Brit, it, Brit and Minx and Alina, okay, I'm gonna tell a little story about right before the stream. I asked Cutie, I was like, how can I, how can I help you most right now? And she goes, get everybody drunk. And I was I like, did say that. You got it. But in like a fun way. In a fun way. Not in like a, I like, was using them for content. I wanted them to be drunk way. I would never do that. In like a, let's get everybody going way. Yeah. So I go out with, so I, I, you know, I put on my frat pants and I get shot glasses and a new bottle of Ciroc 
and I march into the living room, arms in the air, and I go, who wants a shot? Crickets. 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 And just Alinity raises her hand. I literally go, just Alinity? Really? And they were like, oh, like, I don't really want to take a shot. And I was like, okay, that's totally fine. Nobody has to take a shot. <laughs> and so just Alinity. So I pull Alinity and Minx and Brit and I go, Texas plus Minx, we get hammered. That's the plan. And they were like, okay, you got it. So that's part of why they got so drunk. That's why Brit and Minx were so, so It's Maya's fault. It is my fault. But I will say, listen, I would rather have what Brit did at in the egg game than actually playing the egg game. Oh my god. Because what so she funny. did was way funnier. When Brit was sitting there with her with the egg on her face and she goes, I haven't even cracked any eggs yet. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just yolk dripping down her nose. I, I wanted to cry. It was so funny. Dude. And then they're doing a Hyper X shout out. There's this clip. It, it's on Cutie's channel. It's like the third top clip or something. Cutie's doing a Hyper X shout out. Britt leans over the top of her and she goes, HyperX.com. And then she falls backwards and her head hits the glass. And I, and I just scream because I was like, Britt, no, you're a mother. <laughs> Do you have a concussion? Um, oh my God. It was so funny. It was uh, so good. It was such a good stream. Yeah, Britt carried, Minx carried. I, I will say that the hard thing about throwing events is I can never relax enough to feel like I carried. Oh. Like, there's never been an event where I threw it. I was like, I was the funniest bitch out there. Right. Because you're just running. I'm around. just too stressed. I'm, like, hosting shit. But that's fine. That's I think I that's about, fine. Yeah, a Halloween event. I get that. I think I, I think the... Um, Lily was hilarious, Lily, too. Lily is hilarious. I've never really streamed with Lily. I did not expect her to farm so much. Oh, and she's to, so and funny. And to do so many bits. Like, I thought yeah. she'd just chill. She was funny. Yeah. She's funny. Like, I was, I really, tonight, if we were still there, I think Lily and I would have wrestled. No, I think so, too. I think so. If you got drunk, you definitely yes, would have wrestled. Yes, that is crazy. I can't believe we're missing that. It would have yeah, been so they funny. They could be wrestling right now. Oh, my gosh. I think, I think, you know, I think what happens is I kind of fall into the same role as Austin. So whenever I see Austin at, like, my events or at Con, he is so freaking funny. Because he doesn't have to worry about it. Yeah. But on his own show, he's not usually funny because he's, he's just so, he's hosting. He's hosting and he's focused on that, and and yeah, I, I, you know I I get a little sad that I can't be funny because I'm so stressed. But it. it's okay. It's ha- it's okay. It's got to be done. Yeah, it's got to be done. Someone it's has to put it together. Dude. Um. Also, Quarter Jade, I think is one of the prettiest people I've ever seen in my life. I, I told this you is this the third we time leaving. she's talked about this. I I I've only met her in person a couple times, but oh my god, she's, she's so. Pretty. She's gorgeous. And it's not just the way that, it's not her, it's not just physical, it's the way that she is, like her voice and the way that she cares, she like floats. She floats. <laughs> she floats. She floats yeah. around, she's so clean and like pretty, oh my god, I can't believe it. It's wild. I literally was just like watching her and I was like, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Also, Sid is really pretty. I mean, yeah. I've only met Sid once in person. But they're just like they just live really in gorgeous crazy. house yeah. or something. Like I don't know what their water is, but I would like some of it. Yeah, they're hot. Um, they're gorgeous. They're so gorgeous. I was so excited to spend more time with them. I haven't really had Dude, a lot of so like one on one time off the camera with them, and I was so excited. Last night, by the time I finished cleaning, everyone was going to bed, and I was like, "Damn it, that's okay. I've got like all of tomorrow to just hang out with girls." <laughs> anyway. Also, we made this very clear on our. Uh, on my quick promo stream for this. <laughs> promo stream. This is nobody's fault. I would like to make that so insanely clear yeah. that I am not mad at anybody for getting freaking COVID because it's yeah. just like not their fault. Right. Um, it could have been any of us. It was just unlucky, just severely unlucky. Yeah. Um, besides Hassan, yeah. It's, it's Hassan's, it is Hassan's fault. fault. Um, it's also Myth's fault. It's also Myth's fault. And a little bit Emma. It is Emma's fault. <laughs> It's actually, Lud. you know, it's so funny. I just thought about it. Lud, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. I, th- I think it's Hi. so funny because. M- <laughs> Stop it. Audio listeners, we just accidentally touched hands. Audio listeners, we just kissed. Ew. They're freaking out right now. Ew. They're clicking the VOD. Wait, We're getting we didn't even talk views. about this. Cutie and I had to share a bed. Okay, can we focus on what I was going to say before okay. you jump? It was a segue. Um, anyway. Emma tweeted that she was like, this is my fault, right? Yeah. When we actually could blame Emma. Because Emma, <laughs> I've decided we can blame her. Emma said no to coming. If Emma, Emma would have come, come, Jamie would have never been invited. Emma, this is your fault. This is Emma's fault. 
Anyway, cutie. Anyway, I love. I would. I would like to say I love Jamie and I loved having her there, and it was just unfortunate that she got it. But it is. It is. It's Emma's fault. So. I you, Emma. Share a bed. We did. I think that that's the first time we've shared a bed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I stayed very far to my side, and I guess Cutie didn't sleep the whole night, which is sick. Um, but honestly, it was fine. I didn't really think about it. Why are they saying leaked? Oh, guys, it's been leaked. Is it bad that I leaked it? I don't think you should have, but... Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, it, it was like, I didn't even think about it because it's like so obvious to me that it's not... Her fault. Yeah, yeah. it's just like nobody's fault. It does, it's not like... It's I would like to make it very, very clear that it is not her fault and it's just genuinely Minx unlucky. Or thank God. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. And Minx leaked it. She's the worst. I, Dude, I like to make that very clear. This I, is... I clicked into Minx's stream once today. She's in a maid outfit wearing a green ski mask doing like Fortnite dances in the kitchen at the, at the Airbnb. I was yeah. like, what Minx is Minx decided on? to stay at the Airbnb to quarantine because it's a gorgeous place. So it's it like, I don't blame her. wild. Um, but yeah, she's a, uh, she's like treating it like a little vacay before she has to go to. Wait, so Minx did say it on her stream before I said it on Cuties. Thank you for the 10. 10. Uh, uh, I can't read your name. Thank you so much. Thank you for the 10. I, I just hope, I hope that anybody who gets it, um, doesn't get it bad. Cause when yeah. I had COVID, it was f so awful that I'm terrified of getting it again. Um, uh, they're saying she didn't leak. She did not say it. Oh uh, man, I feel bad. I mean like, uh. There's no way it wouldn't have been leaked, right? Like I don't know. I didn't plan. I didn't. I will say I did not plan on saying it. Oh. Worst case, Jamie, if you need an apology, it's Maya's fault. Yeah, I'm sorry. I. It should, but it's also just like now say it fault. like you mean it. I already did. <laughs> She's sorry. It's just nobody's fault. It also it genuinely is nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault. Cutie said it earlier. No, Maya said it first on my stream because Maya said it and then I got stressed. Anyway, I'm not pointing fingers, but audio listeners, I'm pointing my finger at Maya. Yeah, that's my bad. So I'm sorry. Keemstar leaked it. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll message her something later. Okay. Um, yeah, we shared a bed. We've never shared a bed before. More about the bed. Why did you bring up the bed? Why do you? Why are you making it weird? Lots of people share beds. I was mortified when he told me that we had a share bed. Why? Because I don't like that. You could have slept on the couch. There was a couch right there. That is actually true. I'm great to share a bed with. I stick to my little corner. I don't sleep. I just roll back and forth all night. It's awesome. Maya is a bit of a, a loud breather, though. She said that I sleep like a pug. And I meant that in the nicest way possible. Because she just kind of breathes like this. <sighs> like, maybe like Darth Vader. Like, it's just like, a, you can just hear her breathing. Which is fine. I'm not mad about it. It's not sleep apnea. It's more of like, yeah, maybe like a mouth, maybe like a mouth breather. And it's fine. We were facing different ways, so it's not like she was breathing on me. We are also in the biggest bed. Maya got there first, and so she going to the biggest bed for us, which was hype. Um, Darth Mayo. Cutie snores. I actually don't snore. I've never had anybody tell me I snore ever, ever, ever. That's big. Yeah. Um, but... Is a mouth breather? Yeah. I don't... Well, yeah. You do? I think I, I breathe out of my mouth when I'm sleeping, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I'm not... I don't, like, snore, snore. Well, no. Well, you snore through your nose, huh? Yeah. It's... Oh, the coyotes are out. I can oh. hear them. I hate when the coyotes are out, by the way. New wine about it, listeners. Um, but yeah, I think I think if the I think if the girls trip didn't get cancelled, I am very confident that the most popular stream would have been Frat Night tonight. Oh, it would have been so sick. It would have been really, really good. Um my mic is peaking a little bit. I'm sorry. Um, I'll not be adjusting it. Okay, I'm looking at the Thank you for the ten gifted. I'm gonna get the list. Segue. Um, we to ah. Thank you for the. I just thank ten. them. Ten. Oh. Sorry. Thank you for the ten tier twos. Oh wow. Big time. 
that um, is tier twos. We had a we had a long. Um, we all talked after after the breakfast stream too. Um, we sat down and had a long conversation about the Envy House. Oh yes, <laughs> this is important. As you guys know, if you follow Minx, uh, I, I feel like Alex and Andrea don't talk about it a lot. But if you follow Minx, it's all she talks about is um, the Envy House being haunted. Yeah. It's, like, very haunted, apparently. What what was one of the stories they told us? Um. Oh, this is what happened. Okay. So, um, they had someone staying at their house while they were all at, um, they're all at girls' trip, right? Because Miko came. So, they have someone stay at, staying at their house, and the person staying at their house is like, hey, I, I I don't think I can stay here anymore. And they're like, why? And they're like, well, I keep hearing, like, boxes dragged. Oh. Okay, everybody knows who... Okay, everyone knows. Okay, I didn't know if... I didn't know if, Yeah, yeah. I didn't know if Lewis was a secret. Great. A couple... A couple... So, <laughs> great. Stories, yeah. So, Lewis... Lewis, uh, Miko's boyfriend, um, is staying at the... Is staying at the house still, and everybody is, um, you know, they're all at girls' trip. He also doesn't believe in anything. He doesn't believe in anything. And he's, he's in his room, and he hears, like, boxes being dragged. And he's like, what is going on? And he, like, goes outside and he looks, and it's like, he doesn't see anything. He goes back in his room, and then um, the, speakers turn, the on. speakers turn on and just start playing, like, loud white noise. And they're not plugged in. No, no, no. They were, they were plugged in. Oh. They were playing music or whatever. They, like, turned on out of nowhere. So he, he freaked out, so he just went and unplugged the speaker from the wall. Um, and then they turned on. On and they and they played like white noise after he had unplugged them and that's when he he left he like went and got a hotel room he's like I'm not staying here yeah creepy so I decided it's a poltergeist because God. stop it don't give me attitude because poltergeists if you know they thrive off of attention and you know who gives them a lot of attention freaking Minx and she's in there and she's always like Minx literally walks around the house and talks to it. Yeah. She's like, how's your day? How's it going? Here's your, you can live here. Here's your house. Yeah. And when it gets, when, when anything happens, she's the one who tells the story to everybody. Yeah. And so it like, uh, you know, it, it gets excited. And yeah, guys, I got this information from Phasmophobia, which is a very spooky video oh game. Oh my God. But correct. But yeah, poltergeists, they, they, they can control electricity. They can make dragging noises. They're very loud. They, um... They steal cutlery. They steal cutlery. The, it's, it's a, it's a freaking, it's a freaking poltergeist. I, 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 I'm willing to report it in the truck right now. So, that happened. Um, apparently also this all started because someone used a Ouija board in there and didn't properly say goodbye. I will also, I will, here's, the, here's the thing. I, like, I will preface us talking about this by saying I don't believe in anything. And I mean, like, to I don't a, believe in no ghosts. To a fault, I don't believe in anything. I don't believe in anything after death. I don't believe in a, a God. I don't believe in anything. Um, so, like, truly, I could get dragged by nothing by my hair across the floor, and I would write it off as some sort of natural phenomenon. I don't even know. Like, it, it's, it's, like, bad how little I believe in things. Could I stay in that house alone overnight? No, because... That's what I thought. But no, I couldn't do that because I'd be scared of actual people. I would be scared of someone breaking into the house and killing me. Oh. <laughs> Not because of apparitions. Okay. Hypothetically, you it's the most secure place in the world. If I was there and there were like is there security everywhere? You don't yeah, security still, that would still freak me out because I'd be scared of like a squatter in there or something. Not human security. What do you mean you live alone? In an apartment building. Yeah, but what if... Uh, you need a key to get yeah, into my building buildings are and then hype. a key to get into my apartment. Um, what? I'm trying to think of an example. I couldn't live alone in a house. That's why I live in an apartment, by the way. Yeah, that makes sense. Because there's always not, someone right next door. I did not want to live in an apartment, but it is. It, it feels so safe to live in an apartment, man. It's sick. Okay. Nothing could happen to me in there without somebody knowing. Imagine you're in a house that all you have to do is, like, tap on a wall and security's there in two seconds. Security's there in two seconds, okay? Security's available. You're in a house. I would think that I wouldn't have the opportunity to tap on the wall. Okay, well, you know what? I think you have bigger problems than being afraid of a ghost. Yes, Men make up more than 50% of the population. <laughs> men are real, ghosts are not, and men are scary. <laughs> yes. Um, 
Well, okay. I don't have a solution. I don't know how to, I don't have a way to set you up in this scenario. Okay. It's me and you at the Envy house. Me and, and you at the Envy house. And we're I'm, up. I'm spooked. Here's I the keep thing. getting spooked. Do I, you get spooked? No, because. No I, but way. Also, dude, I don't believe I would, that. I would overcompensate because I would think you were being dumb. No, yes. I would be so if, scared. If you were scared because you were like, Maya, there's a ghost in here, I'd be like, cutie, you're being so stupid right now. And then something crashes on the floor in front of us? I would just be like... I don't believe you. I don't. I'm so serious. I don't believe her. I would literally be like, let's put a level on the ground right now because I bet it's not level. I, like, don't, I don't believe her. Okay. Well, I don't believe her. I don't believe her. We do a wine about it in Haunted House. I'm not doing it. Overnight. I, I get scared. I get spooked. I get spooked pretty easily. I get spooked in windows. Chat, if I walk past a window. Doors slam in my apartment all the time. In your apartment? Yeah, my bedroom door. Is it the window? It doesn't slam. Is it your window? I don't know. Do you ever feel creepy? No. Well, okay. <laughs> I, I'm so serious. In my apartment, my bedroom door has closed, like, at least a dozen times since I moved in there without me closing it. Like, I'm just in the kitchen and it'll close. And... The first couple times it scares me because I was like, oh, there's someone in my house. But then it's like, it's air pressure. It's not my ferrets. Yeah, it's like the AC. I mean, I, I can blame doors on ACs. But here's the deal, guys. I, like most of you... Thank you for the 10. Thank you so much. Think, uh, I think Alex Botez is a genius. That's okay. Yeah. It did weird me out that Alex was talking about her experiences and she was like, I don't believe in anything, but it's starting to get scary. Yeah. Mink said that she woke up in the middle of the night and she heard footsteps around her bed, like walking around the, the, the edge of her yeah. bed. And she was too scared to open her eyes. And then I guess Alex heard like whispering or something in her in her room at night. And Alex is like doesn't believe in yeah. stuff like that. But I um, get weird enough vibes that when we leave, I make people throw salt over their shoulders. She literally, we didn't even have salt. This bitch made me throw a tortilla chip over my shoulder. Yeah, that shit's got salt in it, for the record. She tries to get in a fight with a former Vine star at the Envy house, and then we leave, and she gives me a chip, and she makes me throw it over my shoulder. I do. Because she was like, you're not bringing this back to my house. And I say out loud before we leave, I say, whatever you are, you may not follow us. You may not leave. Goodbye. You tell them. You tell them. That's what you're supposed to say. You're supposed to do that. You say, just so you know, you cannot follow us. And then... They don't, they can't follow you. They don't do it. But this started because apparently, apparently, um, hearsay maybe, perchance here. Per, uh oh. Perchance, per here's some hearsay. Okay. Um, Slicker was in the shower. Oh, yeah. And he's in the shower. He just gets out of the shower. He's like in a towel. And someone is like yoinking on his door, like shaking the doorknob. Yoinking on his and door. And he's like, he's like, what the heck? Like, and, yeah, shaking And he handle. opens the door. And looks out, and there's a girl walking away, and it looks like Emma from behind. Like, they have the split dye hair. And he's like, uh, what was that about? Like, hello? And then they just keep walking, and he's like... And Slicker follows her, and is, like, yelling at her, and he's like, yo, what's up? What are you doing? And she just walks down the stairs. And then an hour later, when he's, like, done upstairs, he goes downstairs, and Emma and Minx are chilling in, in Minx's stream room, and he goes... You could have knocked. You could have said something. And she's like, what are you talking about? I just got here. And the woman thing happened like an hour prior, apparently. Yeah. And Slicker was like, Creepy. no, like, I literally saw you walking down the stairs. I yelled at you. Creepy. I would love if they had cameras everywhere. Can you imagine seeing footage of Slicker following nothing? You like don't but see here's, it on the But here's camera. the thing is then they all talk about it, right? They're all talking about this. But they're talking about it outside the no, house. No, they're talking about it at their house. They're talking oh. about their house. They all sleep in the same room. They're talking about how scary it is. It's spooky. Minx goes live. She tells the story. Slicker goes live. They tell the story. They're talking about it. That's actually and kinda that scared the shit spooky. out of me. And then... Um, it's and, a poltergeist. And then, and then it gets worse. What? Hot tacos. It is Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. Are you on drugs? No. What? He, he looks high a little bit. I'm not. <laughs> Why would you? The heck? Oh, I'm shirtless like because HR threw an egg on my shirt. Oh. Why? Because we were sharing. I don't need any tacos, but thank you. No. I feel like you might want a little bit after stream. You usually have a snack. <laughs> I'm just going to order extra tacos. Okay, that would be great. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I would like tacos. Do you have a specific taco? No. If they have any vegetarian ones, that'd be sick, but if they don't... You're vegetarian now? Not fully, but... Is it because you're new cow? No. You've changed. Okay. Anyway, yeah, CO2 poisoning. They got the house checked. That's how That's how weird things are. I think it's... I think they, they got have the house checked. And they're having collective hallucinations. For CO2. 
Like they're having shows. But remember, discussion. even even Connor left because it was so creepy. Here's the other thing, and I hate saying this because I know this is actually really Connor's scary. a pussy. Yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> what? The other thing that I can say about this, and I hate saying this because it actually genuinely is really scary, is squatting in LA is a problem. And I know that that's like really scary, but I genuinely think that they should just have the house swept. I think they have. I think, no, I don't think they have. I think they should have it like swept, swept. Like they should like have someone check the walls and stuff. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, but how would they hear footsteps around their bed? You think someone is squatting? You think they live in the walls without ever leaving? They would die in there. Yeah, they love it in there. <laughs> Maya saw Parasite once and she was like, this is it. I've never seen that. Well, there goes my joke, I Check guess. the walls. I don't even mean the walls. I just mean, you know, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Squat it? As in, like... People that I will sneak say, into the this, house to spend the night in the This house. is such an old topic that even The Yard talked about this on, like, one of their old podcasts. Like, uh, it's, it's still happening. If I lived in a place for as long as they have and s creepy stuff was happening, I would move. I would have to. It, it, would, it would take me getting seriously hurt by something I cannot explain multiple times for me to leave. I think, yeah, someone in chat said they should put in cameras. I agree. They should put in a lot of cameras. I think they should put in cameras. I think they should do acoustic monitoring, and I think they should make a YouTube video. Yeah, I think they should, too. I actually told them to do that. I told them to make a YouTube video. But until then, all we can do is, all we can do is wait. All we can do is wait and see which one of them gets eaten by the ghost. So Eaten. Yeah. That's but right. good news is poltergeists usually aren't um, physically harmful. I was doing a lot of Googling She today. said they could trip you, though. They can trip you. And that can hurt. And Minx has been pushed down the stairs before. No, they're slippery. I've been in that house. They're Hearsay, slippery. Your Honor. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe your feet were slippery. Maybe you got pushed and you didn't know. I didn't. Yeah. Have you had any? We have we talked about this? What? I don't remember, though, if you've had paranormal experiences. No, we've talked about this. Yeah. I haven't. Because Kiri was like, if there were ghosts, her mom would visit her. Yeah, my mom would mom be mom like, would. hey, bitch. And I'd be like, some mom, miss you. Happy Mother's Day. By the way, Mother's Day is coming up for all of you in chat without a dead mom. Make sure you get her flowers. <laughs> if she's dead, day off. Hell yeah, another Sunday. Dab. Okay. Audio listeners are dabbed still. I'm oh keeping it up. Oh, God, it's so bad. So, anyway. I get lonely. I, um, I'll be fine. I don't think I've had... Besides, like, door slamming, um, um, Maya's like, um, well, there was this one time where, like, <laughs> <laughs> so there was, like, a man in the corner. I kept talking to him, talking, and he just disappeared, but I, that was, there was one that time. was a okay, shadow. This is going to sound like a movie and sound like a nightmare, and I don't really remember. How have you not that? told me this? Because we've talked about this before, so I'm surprised. Well, because I don't really know if it happened or if I made it up in my head. <laughs> Because it was when I was little. She's going to tell you this, and, and you guys are going to be like, yeah, Maya, that was in The Conjuring. <laughs> it was It was when I was little enough um, where I had, like, just started showering. Like, I just went from taking baths to showering. Oh, I so it was, that. like, two years ago. Right. Um, and I, I, I remember, like, being really bad at showering, and I would get a bunch of shampoo in my eyes all the time. And I was, sh I remember showering when I was little, and... I got shampoo in my eyes, so I was, like, rubbing my eyes, and then I went like that, and just for, like, a, a second, I opened my eyes, and there was, like, a really, like, dark <laughs> shadow in the shower, but I think it was just, like, I think it was just because I had stuff in my eyes, but it really, I, rem I really, like, vividly remember it looking like a silhouette, and then H Audio I listeners, got, I am a cringing. <laughs> and then I got, it's literally, it's, like, your worst nightmare, right? When you, like, when you have stuff in your eyes, and you're, like, oh, I'm going to yeah. realize there's going to be somebody there. But it truly was, like, I was, like, rubbing stuff out of my eyes, and I opened my eyes, and, like, it was, like, it was, like, nose to nose. Like, I remember it being, like, right here, and it was just, like, person-shaped shadow. And then I went like that again, and then it was gone. And I didn't, I, I didn't take a shower. Like, I went back to baths for, like, years because Dude, it scared me so bad. I will say there was a, well, how did you make that up if you went back to baths for years? Well, that's the thing is, like, I know that I went back to baths for years because it scared me so bad, but uh -huh. I think, I don't think it was a real thing. I think I just, like, I will say, you know what like, commercial for a scary movie messed me up more? And I know this because someone in chat mentioned this. It was not my own shadow. It was nose to nose with me. It was, like, it was, it was It was her whole... first kiss. It was actually a very special moment for her, so... Please stop making fun of it. 
There you go. Uh, but uh, the the most messed up I got from any like commercial for a scary movie was The Grudge when she's washing her hair. It's any people in chat are gonna feel this. She's washing her hair and there's a hand in the back of her head that like moves. Oh my gosh, that messed me up for so long. Even when I wash my hair today, I'll be like, <laughs> please no. The grudge messed me up. I genuinely think the worst I've ever been scared by a movie was Us. Oh, yeah. The way that they move in Us makes me so sad. <laughs> and so scared. Like, I literally, I can hear the music I don't in my head right now. I don't want to talk about this. I'm to get really uncomfortable. Yeah. Let's not talk about this. We need to move on. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. We do a Ouija board tomorrow. No! What? I'll Instacart one. It's not want. on the girls trip <laughs> schedule. We're not doing it. We're You're sticking right. the girls trip. Oh, for those of you who uh, didn't hear this, tomorrow we are doing um, everything that was scheduled for girls trip but at home. Just me and Cutie <laughs> yeah, for in 12 the hours. For 12 hours. <laughs> on Cutie's channel. Uh, it should be great. It's going to be sick. We're gonna we're gonna make French toast. French toast breakfast on a griddle in the basement. Yeah. And then thank you for the ten sev yo what up? Thank you so much. Um and then we're gonna play beer pong. We're gonna one v one beer pong. Yeah, we're gonna do and then we're gonna self defense. We're gonna one v one self defense. I'm gonna kick her ass. And then we're gonna drink a coffee and be in the cat cafe, but it's just Durs. <laughs> we're gonna force him to stay down with us. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah. It's going to be a fun time. Tomorrow is the girls' trip finale. <laughs> um, it's, it should be great. It should Yo, be great. What's the start time? The five. As soon as we wake up. Ari again. Ari, Ari thank five. you. As soon as we wake up, we'll get started. Um, it'll be great. I don't know what we're going to do on Saturday now. We can do something for your stream. Yeah. Or we could film. We'll do something. We film like a really scuffed on about we're, it. We should take pictures too. We're crazy cats. We'll, we'll do... We take pictures on Saturday. We'll do something. Okay. It'll be... It'll be ugh, lovely. Um, but yeah. I... Uh, that's... That's pretty much all I can think of with Girls Trip. I think... I do think it would have gone really, really well yeah. if we would have done it. Yeah. But unfortunately, it just... You know, it just... It just didn't work out, you guys. It didn't work out. Well, I'm gonna. We're gonna do it in again in like July or August or something, and we'll actually go to Florida. I guess I don't really want to, but I get. It. I don't know. Are you still selling the art posters? Yeah, it's. It wasn't really my priority. My my priority today was trying to get refunds and moving things and just seeing what was possible um, with stuff, and so. It's just not my priority, but we'll we will sell posters. But we're I'm gonna do an art auction, just like I said. I know it seems like it's kind of I hate like sounding like a penny pitcher because like yes I make I make good money, you guys know that. But it's just like these events specifically, I just would love to break even on them. Um, that's the dream, of course. Um, but I think even if like the the actual art sells for like you know like. All 16 paintings sell for like $100 at $1,600. That literally pays for the non-refundable cat cafe that I had to pay for. So, you know. Hooray! So, it's little things like that. It's all going to add up and it's just going to kind of feel better. Check your watch. Um, Thank you for the five. Yeah. So, yeah. It'll be it'll be fun. And then if, you know, if you don't have the money to um, um, buy, you know, the art, we'll sell them for posters too. So... Just stuff to kind of um, help offset the balance. I, I'm totally, again, I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine with being under in money because it's, that's She's the rich. gamble I take with all of these. And I, I am, you know, I'm in a place in life where I can be under in money. It's just, it just, I just wish, I, I wish we were just closer. But yeah, um, but that was girls trip. But we had a lot of other things going on this month. Like I went to Texas. I went to Texas. She went to Texas. She saw Alvaez for the first time. I did. Isn't that weird? Because it, it felt, weird. when I was there, I felt like I've been there. Right. Which is weird because I have not Have not been there. It was nice. It was nice. Bigger than I thought it was. Yeah. It's so big. I'm excited to see the parrot thing finish because they looked sad in the house. Oh. Yeah, they're so over it. They're over it. Yeah. They're like, they're like I want to be outside. Chat, your signed prints and uh, Paintings? The paintings are getting shipped out before I get back. Alex is shipping them. Hearts and chat for Alex. He's the intern. Yay! Um, 
and then uh, all the prints are gonna be there when I get back. I have to sign them all, and then my new assistant is going to ship them all out. Oh yeah, you're getting an assistant. I hired an assistant. I got, uh, so you guys all know I have Taylor as an assistant, mm -hmm. and she lives remote, but I just got my first local assistant, and this was her first week, and she, was sick. she, she killed it. Yeah. I don't know if she watches. I actually have no clue if she's ever watching, but I, I, I talk about her a ton, so hopefully uh, she, I say nice things, but uh, yeah, she killed it. She, she did amazing. Great. Yeah, she's um, I'm so stoked to have one. I'm actually like kind so nice. of sad. I, I'm, I'm starting to realize that I, I've, that it, having a local assistant is just like way more needed. It's really nice. Like, cause it's yeah. just so, it was was so sure. much needs to be done. And even if like, if I would have had two, like, cause I have the two assistants, if I, if I, Taylor would have been in LA, it would have made my life so much easier. Mm. So I have to, I have to figure out, um you know, how to convince Taylor to move to LA or something. I just got to figure it out. Um, but yeah, so my, Maya's getting an assistant. It's exciting. I hired an assistant. She starts when I get back. Um, it's uh, Turka. Um, Turka's my new assistant. Yeah. Very cool. Um, I, I have to reply to this and I probably shouldn't, but someone made like a, like an an upskirt comment, and I would like to say something. We are always wearing shorts under our dresses. Oh, yeah. For anyone excited thinking you, like, saw something interesting, um, you didn't even see underwear, so I just need you to relax. Get fricked. <laughs> yeah. Wait, also, I feel like we've, been, we've done better with swearing. Danny? Danny? Have we? Danny has to take notes throughout the podcast and, and note every time we swear. It's actually really embarrassing because we swear yeah. so much. I but feel like we've done a good job. I think we have two. Wait, he said something. I, it was too fast. It's too fast. No. Uh oh. No. He said you have. Yay! Yay! Hooray, Danny! Um, anyway, I was in Texas. Yeah, you were I Texas. went to Austin for less than 24 hours. I stayed at Nick and Melina's <laughs> house, which is my favorite place to stay. It's a nice place to stay. I love them. I love staying with them. Melina has a whole cupboard full of snacks. Yes. The house is always so clean. It smells so nice. It's so homey. Yeah, Melina's um, Melina sick. Melina's just so sick. Uh, Soda was banned at the time. He came out of his room to talk to us. We all made fun of him for sure. Um, you know, called him all the names in the book. And then we, uh, I know I always say Nick and Melina's house, but it's because, guys, it's Nick and Melina's house and Soda's room. Right, <laughs> it, that's true. He does not leave his room. It's, it's you know, yeah, our racist Randy Soda. Um, Don't say that. <laughs> Oh my God. Clearly satirical. Um, and then, so I woke up in the morning, woke up early, went on their stream, and then went directly to Maya's house, yeah. or to Alveus. Alveus. Went on Alveus' stream. Oh yeah, you didn't see my apartment. No, which is weird. I thought about that actually a few days ago. Because then I went directly to Mrs. house, was on Mrs. stream, and then I like went home to Nick and Melina's house and went to bed and then left the next morning to go to Houston. I didn't see your apartment. My which apartment's is weird. sick. I, I, I just, love my apartment. I, I did not think it. that I would like living alone. I did not like it at first. Even, yeah. But I, it's so nice. I loved living alone. It's so nice. Yeah. It is really nice. Anyway, just, okay. So you went to Houston for what? I went to Houston for something that means nothing to you. Right. You're, you won't care. League of Legends. A League of Legends. You guys, okay. I don't think anyone can fully understand how much league means to me. Ew. Shut up. <laughs> it's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you like animals and I like league. Okay. But literally, if I were to think of like the top five most like important things in my life, I think league would be in there. I love wow. League of Legends. Wow. I love that it. That is crazy. People don't know this. I really love it. I love it so much. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. It's like up there with Taylor Swift. I'm not kidding. Oh my I God. really I'm, love it. You're actually the creepiest I love everything about it. Life. I know. For people that don't know, I've, I've been playing for, like, eight years. I've been yeah, playing like forever. It. Is there a blanket? Yeah. I'm not <laughs> getting it. <laughs> You're a good friend. Okay. Hey, you laughed at me when I cried. Yeah, you cried a lot, so... Yeah. Anyone? Well... Um, what if I started crying with you? Like, what they do with kids with toddlers oh or something? Oh, God, I would hate that. They just, like, start crying to make them stop crying? <laughs> You're like, wah, wah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd be like... That's what you sound like. Maya. Anyway. Um, okay, so you went... What was it? A tournament? You didn't play it. You just watched... I played. I played. Oh, really? in, I played in this thing called the Grubhub 
feeding frenzy, which was really cool. I met the I met the Grubhub people, I met the League people, and they were like, "We love you." And I was like, "You don't understand. This was like a favor. I would have paid you to do this. Like, this is crazy." Did you do well. I did. I actually I played really well, genuinely, and it was it was really cool because it was like a bunch of League influencers, and then me, who was just like, uh, "I don't know what I do." Like, huh. I'm a content creator. I don't know what kind of content you would categorize me as. Like, I really don't know what I do every day. Right. I don't know. It's a hard thing to explain. I yeah. guess I have the same problem. <laughs> I'm like, sometimes... Sometimes I'm I watch YouTube videos. Transformation and sometimes yeah. I'm talking about in-depth conservation messaging. Yeah. It's variety. It's variety. Variety. Um, but I, uh, you know, I'm the only one there, and they, like, pick teams, and Tyler's the captain of one, and Double Lift's the captain of one. And I, like, to contextualize this, everybody... I used to I used to watch Double Lift. Okay. I was a fan of his. I would watch his tutorials. I have his old jerseys. Oh my god. Like I wanted to be like Double Lift. Like, you know, like the same way like basketball players want to be like Michael Jordan. I wanted to be like Double Lift. That's really cool. Thanks. But like n- like I wanted to be as good as Double Lift and guys I'm in bronze, so I am, by the way. Um just as good as him. But yeah, it was just like, this is a guy that I used to, like, watch his tutorials. I used to watch his videos. I used to be, like, the biggest fan of him. And now I'm playing next to him. Like, it was crazy. It was just, like, surreal. It was, like, a weird dream come true. And, like, Medios was on my team, which I... But is I've... he, like, way better than you, so was it embarrassing? No, we're, like, the same. Really? Yeah. Are you good at League of Legends? Yep. Is she good at League of Legends? Guys. They're copiuming you. That's because they're they're overcome by my skill set. Mm. I'm okay. I might not be good at the game, but I'm really passionate. Okay. I'm really passionate about it, which sometimes that's all that matters. Um, and yeah, Medios was on my team too, which I don't know if you guys watched like C9 with the Medios sneaky days, but they were just like prime League of Legends content. It was so great, and so I'm like I'm playing next to Medios and and Double Lift, and I'm like I've I've made it. Like, it's one of the few moments where I sat there and I was like, I made it. And the other time I had this thought was when I was playing with Sneaky and Medios at an Arcane event. Like, League things, when I get invited to League things and I'm like a special person on a League thing, that's the only time in my entire career I have paused and thought to myself, I've made it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Because my goal, I don't think a lot of people knew my goal when I, like, started streaming. My goal was to have, like, Ovely's job. And if you guys don't know what Ovely's job is, she would, she would go on the stream during LCS and interview people um, after uh. games. And that was my dream. I was like, wow, I like I would love that job with all my heart. And I remember when Ovley Ovley left, I um I like as soon as she left, I like sent her tweet to my agency and I was like, please get me an interview. I'll do anything. And that wasn't even that long ago. This was maybe a year ago. Like yeah, that's how much it's been in the back of my mind, like forever. And um um and they were like, do you, have a, do you have an interview reel? And I was like, no. And they're like, yeah, we can't. We don't know how to get you like an interview. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and that's where that dream died. Uh, and then I kind of like ran off and started doing my own things. But uh, yeah, I, I wanted that dream. I wanted that job for so long. Um, and you met one of your idols. I'm <sighs> I did. I wrote in my notes, League Guy, because I have no idea how to spell his name. Dude! Uh, yeah, I met Bjergsen. It was crazy. It was crazy. So this is what happens. We go... <laughs> I hate telling the stories because I always get nervous and I'll get back to him and he'll think I'm like this cringe fangirl. But uh, I, I am a fangirl, number one. I'm not cringe. I'm, I'm cool, number two. <sighs> Yeah, so anyway, what happened is we walk into this riot after party. I was at dinner, Offline TV uh, took Led and I to dinner, and a few other people, Double Lift and Lena were there. And we're like, oh, let's go to the... Thank you for the 10? Hello? Oh, it's Vale. Vale, thank you for the 10. Oh, thanks, Vale. Vale, I saw your retweet today. It was very sweet of you. Um, anyway, I... Uh... <laughs> we go to the after party. It was me, Double Lift, Lena, and Ludwig. We go inside, Ludwig goes to get drinks, and he just- You killed me in Fortnite, you mother- What? What? Vale! Apologize. Apologize. Where is he? 
I really thought telling you a story about fulfilling my dreams was more important than this your... This guy killed me on Fortnite. Well. I said sorry immediately. I know, I saw the clip. Okay, continue. Um, so you're a I fangirl don't, I don't and, feel like it anymore. And you're not, you're not cringe, you're cool. I don't feel like it. And you think that Bjergsen is so cool. Okay. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> no, I'm listening. <laughs> Yeah, what about him is cool? Um, is he good at League? Yeah, he's like really good at League of Legends. Okay. He's like really good. Like, honestly, the faker of NA. He's amazing. The what? Uh, pain. I care a lot about Cutie, it, but I, I it's crazy me. how little I care about what we're talking about right now, I'm going to be honest. Anyway, we walk into the party, and, uh, you know, we're, we're hanging out, and, and, uh, and Lena knows that I, I'm a big fan of Bjergsen, to the point that, like, I am nervous that I can't act normal around him, because it's like, imagine, oh. all, who, are the, who are you a fan of? Like, who are you the biggest fan of in the whole entire world? Uh, that music guy you listen to, you like that guy's music? Pop Smoke? Pop Smoke, yeah. He's dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. We're not having him on there. <laughs> dead ass right now. Oh, my God. Oh. I cannot believe you said that. I don't know him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't God. know who you're keeping up with nowadays. We're back, baby. Um, who am I a really big fan of? Uh -huh. Honestly, if I met David Dobrik, I'd freak the fuck out. Okay. I, used, I watched him so much. Okay, so you and I, we are at a bar with influencers, people like us, right? Yeah. David Dobrik's there. Yeah, or like Corinna. How would you act? Cringe. Yeah. Yeah. And I know, I know that I can't be normal. I, I know this. I'm, I'm very aware that I'm like, I'm not funny when I'm cringe. I, I just overthink everything and I get lost in my head and I'm like, he's going to hate me. And so Chat, I, I don't want to hear about, okay, look, I just watched all the vlogs when I was in college, okay, when I was a freshman, it was the only YouTuber I ever watched, so if I met him in person, I'd be like, whoa, that is crazy, that's what I'm talking about, yeah. there's nobody, I can't think of anybody that I'm like a really big fan of right now, I don't even think David makes vlogs anymore. That's fine, this is like, this is, yeah, that, that's fine, I think like, even is then canceled? like, cancelled? Oh. He is cancelled now. Oh. Because he like, hurt some, his friend in the head, oh. with a forklift. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. He's super canceled. Oh but God. still, guys, it doesn't matter because regardless, the whole point was finding someone she couldn't act normal around. Prezzo. <laughs> You've met Prezzo. And That's you true. were normal. <laughs> but it's different now. <sighs> we're different now. God. Anyway. So I'm fully aware that I can't act normal around Bjergsen. Okay. And I will be in my head, and I won't be funny, and I'll just be cringe, because I'll get so weird. So it's even to the point that, like, Myth, and I have been at things, and he's like, he's like, oh, I'll invite Bjergsen, and I'll be like, no, you won't. Because I never want to meet him in, with, to risk the chance of ruining his first impression of me. Is that crazy? Yes. Well, I remember you saying that before you met him. And she also texted me when she met him. The night that she met him, she texted me. It's crazy. You probably, I don't know if you should read it. No, no, no. I'll, I'll I don't uh, find it. She'll find it. I'm sure it was normal. I'm sure it was a normal message I sent you. Because I, I wouldn't send a weird message. That's for sure. God, why do we text so much? It's so cringe. Thank you, Impervious One, for the 10 gifted. Thank you very much. Impervious, sure. thank you for the 10. Surely. Surely, surely, yes. Dude, we're so cringe. Why? What are we talking about? We just sent each other so many screenshots. <laughs> we're just talking shit all the time. I actually. Like, I'll just, I'll just, someone will just post the wrong thing on Twitter and I'll just send it to Maya and she'll be like, I know exactly what you meant. Oh, Impervious gifted 50, not 10. Oh my god! That's a lot. Impervious, thank you for the 50 gifted. I'm so sorry. It's really far away, guys. Thank you so much. Jeez. Okay. Oh, no. Stop. She said, I'm, dude, I, how do you say his name? She said, Maya, I met Bjergsen 
I was kind of fucking cringe, and I blew it talking to him. I was so cringe. That's what she said. I was so cringe. I was so cringe. So this is what happens. We walk into the party. We're standing there. And I see, I see Bjergsen, and I'm like, I've got to go. Like, I have to leave. I'm going to have to leave this party, and we just got here. And I'm like, where's Ludwig? He's off getting a drink. And immediately, Lena bolts. She bolts to go grab him because she wants me to meet him. And she's like, she's like, cutie, I have a surprise for you. And I'm like, no. Like, I would, I've avoided this my whole life. I'm not ready. I haven't had a shot. I'm not fun to be around. I'm scared. And, uh, and she brings him over, and he is just like, this little light bulb of happiness and he's like oh, cutie cinderella i'm your biggest fan and i'm just like <laughs> even thinking about it right i am so I'm <laughs> oh my god are you okay stressed. i'm what stressed i'm not kidding i can't be normal i can't i'm stressed i'm like i'm stressed i'm so stressed i'm stressed i can't be normal and I'm like, so I just start laughing. I'm just like, ha, ha. <laughs> like, oh my god, so nice to meet you. Like, da, da. and then of course, Doublelift and Lena immediately pull off the, pull out their phones and start taking pictures. Let me show you. I, I showed my stream this, but this is the picture of uh, of like seconds after meeting Bjergsen, and you can see my face. I'm just like, I, I can't be. I'm not normal. <laughs> I don't know how to be normal. I just. I'm just laughing in pure panic. Oh my god. Yeah. Chat, I will show you. I will show you. I'm wearing shorts. Don't freak out. You can see the bulge from the shorts right here. Uh, hello? Camera? Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, maybe not. Dude, you know what? I can never show you guys. I actually... I don't think it was meant to be. I don't I don't think I can show you guys. Is it lower the brightness? Okay, all right, yes. Um, lower the brightness is all the way lowered. <laughs> that worked great. Let me try raising the brightness all the way. No, okay. don't do that. Why? It's a mistake. <laughs> oh, it worked. Uh, well. He wants to focus on the candles so bad. Impervious just gifted another 50, by the Impervious way. with another 50 gifted? There it is. Almost. Thank you I'm so much. I'm trying to block much. the candles. You know what? You guys can't see it. Anyway. She just looks cringe. I look cringe. I'm just, I just am smiling, laughing. Like, I just can't be a normal human. Like, I wouldn't do that if, like, I don't know who. I, I can't think of meeting anybody else. I just wouldn't do that. The only other person I might do that with is, like, I'm a cutie pie. If I met him in person. I don't think I could ever meet him in person, either. Is he, is he leave, too? Yeah. He's where cutie comes from in my name. Really? Mm-hmm. That, that was a really dumb move. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I know this. <laughs> Just for the record. <laughs> I realize. I didn't think I'd ever have more than 20 viewers. Oh, I didn't right, think right. I'd have more than 10 viewers. I didn't plan on this. Um... But yeah, I'd get really and like Taylor Swift, obviously. Um, but yeah, to me, like Bjergsen's like a legend. Swift. Like I'm just saying, like Taylor Swift, I wouldn't be normal with either. I wouldn't know how. I would, uh, I'd want to be normal wait, so badly that, that, I, that I wouldn't know how. It's an artist that I really like that I'd be weird around. I don't know. You're just so cool, Maya. No, I truly like Sean. Sean Kingston. <laughs> That's crazy that you think you wouldn't be normal around Sean Kingston. I'll tell you what, I'll be more normal around Sean Kingston than I am around Rezzo. <laughs> like, you know what's crazy, even crazier about me saying that? Mm -hmm. I meant to say Big Sean. Big Sean? Control, oh, you let him talk to you crazy. You got baby mama drama. You ain't even got you no baby. You so crazy. The father. I ain't got time for no hoes. I ain't even got time for no time off. Um. 
trauma. See me get go for now. Go for now. So. I love Big Sean. <laughs> But I also love Sean Kingston. You're way too beautiful, girl. Uh. Oh, Bruno Mars. He you said. wouldn't be normal around Bruno no, Mars. No, Bruno Mars, I think, is the coolest person on planet Earth. There we go. I think that Bruno Mars is... Uh, he's not even underrated because he wins everything because he's actually uh -huh. so good. But he's such a good performer and he's so talented. If he did just a little less cocaine, he would be, like, so Your sick. Bruno Mars is my Bjergsen. Okay, it's not that serious. Yeah, because Bjergsen needs to do a little less cocaine. Oh. 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 You heard it here first, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm very just kidding. He's a robot. Bruno Mars is an industry plant. He, he's not real. Frick. Okay, it's back to Sean Kingston. <laughs> uh, I only want to do Anyway. Dirt. Um, <laughs> I didn't even know Bruno Mars did cocaine. I'm pretty sure he went to rehab for drugs. What? Don't even say Toby and Wiggly. You can't even say that. That's a secret. It's not really a secret, but it is a secret. I would, I would pee myself if I met him. Okay, so you do have people you'd be weird around. Apparently. Yeah. I never said that I didn't. I just couldn't think of anyone. Okay, well, I'm happy we found some because you were making me feel crazy, admittedly, and that wasn't cool of you. <laughs> I would make you feel crazy. You did that. Well, I just think it's crazy because it's leak, <laughs> to be but honest. But these are like celebrities to me. Anyway, I'm Eve Bjergsen. I am doing such an awful job. And again, I have social anxiety, and I... I know I'm saying this on the internet and saying I hope this never gets back to him, but I do hope this never gets back to him. But I had such bad social anxiety that I, I, I felt like I was being lame like and boring in our conversation because we were talking for quite some time that I texted Ludwig and I said, we need to go because I, like I, I felt like I was so unfunny and He's boring. Watching. Hi, Bjergsen. <laughs> Sorry about this. This is really embarrassing. He was probably like, I felt like it was such a good conversation. I you know. Like, didn't like me. She thought I was really boring. And that's how social anxiety works. <laughs> that's probably how he thinks right now. Um, but... What's up, Lex? Yeah. It was, uh... God, it was... I don't know. I, and then I thought... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even kidding you. I thought about the jokes I made and the conversation we had for, like, three days. And I would, like, tell Ludwig. I was like, do you think he thought that was weird? And Ludwig was like, you're fine. It was just... It was just surreal. He was like... Oh, God, I'm never... The issue is, is the more I talk about my social anxiety, the m more it makes it, like, more pressure and weird. You know what's interesting? If I ever hang out with him again. The first time that I hung out with Soda, I had a ton of, of social anxiety, but I didn't even know who he was. Like, because I didn't watch Twitch, right? And I came to Texas, but, but Miz and everybody around me was like, it's Soda. They're like soda pop. That's crazy. And then, like, I love soda pop. So we met him, and I was like, oh, this guy's, like, famous. But I didn't know him, and, and I met him, and I was really scared at first. And I, and I like, overthought everything that I said to him. Because I was like, this guy's famous. Yeah, I was just overthinking it. Turns I, out, he's a loser. Yeah. <laughs> Sad. Sad. I, yeah, I just wanted to be funny so bad that I wasn't. Maybe I was. You know what? We're going to live in a world and believe that I was, because I'm always funny. Well, right? Yeah, you, yeah, you're funny. I even, I want, I want to share this, because I, I texted Myth the next day, because Myth, Myth and I were chit-chatting, and... <laughs> Prezzo, you want to come on the podcast? Uh, yeah, he does. Prezzo, are you funny in person? Yeah, he is. I've only met you once. He said, yeah. Oh, okay, good. Wait, actually, Prezzo, you'll come on this and not the yard. Lock it in right now. Lock it in right now. You won't go in the yard if, if we fly you out here. I will fly you out next month. Prezzo, we could do a newlyweds game. We don't know each other at all, but we could do it. Speaking of which, we should do that. I'll go on, I'll go on the yard they made me? <laughs> okay, well, we're not your sloppy seconds, bitch. Prezzo. Oh, my God. Insane. I'm not going to have your babies anymore. We're not paying for your flight. Says. Only Patreon, though? I don't want to hear it. Anyway, this was my message. No, I'm done. I'm not. I'm actually done with this story. I decided. Should we do the thing? Should we do the game? No. Why? Because I'm not ready. Why? Because I'm not ready because I have another story. Oh, okay. Go ahead. She's going she's gonna to say some other thing that she said to Bjergsen. No, I'm not. Okay. 
this is really embarrassing story and I was gonna tell my chat and I decided not to tell my chat and I'm gonna tell this chat and you because it's really embarrassing okay and it happened in Texas and it was God. okay so I started my period in Texas you have Good. Your periods happen yeah no babies no babies thank goodness and uh you know I'm I, our hotel was awful and I don't know if it's just me but I'm a bad sleeper anyway like if I'm not in my bed I some I'll just go like right now I'm on zero hours of sleep I'm past 24 hours like I, I just can't sleep and uh and so we have to wake up at 7 a.m for the like the LCS thing and um my my period starts we have to wake up at 7 a.m I didn't get any sleep so you're just exhausted like Men, you might not know this, but when you're on your period, it's like your life force is literally draining out of you and you just become just this weaker version of yourself. <laughs> um, and, and for some reason, sometimes, you know, you just, you, you, you bleed more than you would like. I actually um, don't really have that problem. I, I never bleed that much. You did one time. I remember you went on your stream and you're like, guys, I bled through like three tampons. Oh, that okay, that's actually true. Sometimes you just have abnormal ones where like, yeah. you just bleed a lot. Yeah. And uh, and it was one of those days. And number one, I'm exhausted. It's one of those days, and I'm bleeding a sh ton. And I'm just like, what the? F and I keep like changing stuff, and I'm like, well, I'm dying clearly. Yeah. And uh, and we play our first game. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. This is genuinely. So while you're at the tournament, while you're playing league, you bled through your pants. Shut up. Yeah. Oh my god. What happened is so the game is over. It, it wasn't. It wasn't at the set. Like it wasn't at the game setup. The game was over. We go backstage. Backstage, all white couches. Yeah. Do you bleed on the couch? Yep. Did anyone notice? I think so. That's the worst thing. I'm I've not going to say who ever because I don't want Chad to be weird about it, but I'm 90% sure a person like looked at it and then I noticed they were looking and so then I looked and I saw it and I immediately like took my jacket off and threw it like on the chair to like hide it and then like ran to the bathroom because we actually, we had no time to go to the bathroom. We would go off sets and then we they'd be back there for like two seconds and they'd do like some like like content thing like interview or something like that and oh, you go so right back on that's so awful. there was like no time i'm like six hours like you know you have to do hair and makeup and i had no time to go to the bathroom and i like couldn't change my tampon and, and it just happened and it's it's traumatizing no matter what your it's age so is no matter how old you are it's that's traumatizing so awful and i'm just like like i'm like oh my god I'm so embarrassed, like i'm so embarrassed that like my skin is crawling and you yeah. just like think everyone's staring at you and you're like I'm disgusting, I'm embarrassing, like, like, you just feel, like, scum of the earth, and so I'm, like, I'm, like, fine, I find somebody, I'm, like, can I please go to the bathroom, like, please, 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 and they're, like, they're, like, yeah, yeah, we can go to the bathroom, but then all these other people are, like, we want to go to the bathroom, too, and I have no clue if it's, like, on my pants, I don't know what's, like, luckily, I was wearing, like, black pants, so I was, like, worst case, it's just gonna look a little weird, and, uh, we, we run to the bathroom, and, it's not a girl's or a men's bathroom. It's a shared bathroom and there's only one. And they're like, cutie, didn't you have to go really bad? You go first. And so everyone is standing outside of this bathroom while I have to figure out how to like open and tampon silently and like clean up my mess as quickly as possible because we also only have 30 seconds to get back. And there's a whole line of people waiting to go to the bathroom. It was... Uh... Oh my God, that's awful. Yeah. That's awful. It was so stressful and just like I, I, I and then you get like you get like nervous so like you like get blood somewhere because you're like just going so fast right. and so like I remember I like clean everything up I like look around I'm like checking I'm making sure there's not a wrapper anywhere I'm like you go outside I, I went outside and I was just like running because it was like I just like had that feeling where everyone was staring at you I run past the line and then I'm like oh shit I have to wash my hands and I like run back and then like, I'm washing my hands and I'm like it's like looking around and then the next person goes in and I'm just like traumatized and yeah and but then but then I'm like, I need to figure out how to clean the fucking couch. Like, who do you tell? Like, right. I could tell my agent. That's embarrassing. Like, right. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I, I, I just like I'm so stressed. Ludwig is backstage. He comes backstage and he's like, Hey, like they they got me back here. How's it going? Because he like came he came a little late because we had to be there so early. And 
I lean over to Ludwig and this is the most like this is the this is the grossest thing I've ever had to have him do in our entire relationship and I, I leaned over to him I said Ludwig I would never ask you to do this ever 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 I perioded on the white couch I perioded, <laughs> I perioded on the white couch and my jacket is over it I have to go on stage right now I am so sorry will you please clean it up and he did, and I came when we came back off stage. It, you know, the couch was clean. My jacket was off the couch, so it was all cleaned up. And he got the stain it was, out of the. It was for the couch. record. It was well. It was a leather white couch, so it's just oh, like wipeable, easy. right? Like okay. yeah, like literally, I could have gone like like licked my finger and gotten rid of it. I know that sounds gross, chat, but like, right, leather couch. It's fucking leather couch, and that's just how it works. And it wasn't that much, for, like thank God. It, but it was like you know, it's red on a white couch. It's definitely like, and you were just sitting there, like it's definitely blood. Um, but yeah, Ludwig saved the day. It was the most embarrassing thing that's happened in my most recent, like, that was worse than, that was worse than any of the jokes I made with Bjergsen. Like, it was- That is terrible. It was terrible. It was so I bad. I through my pants once in middle school and I was wearing white jeans. I, I deadass have never owned a pair of white pants since. Yeah. Yeah. It was awful. Yeah. It was like horrifying. It was so, God, it was so bad. I, 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 I feel, I, I do feel lucky enough that I am close enough, like, Ludwig and I are close enough in our relationship, like, he sh- with the door open, so it's like, I think he can wipe a little bit of blood, you know, mm-hmm. like. I had a friend in high school, and her boyfriend used to take her tampon out with his mouth. That's, we're not on that level, I would like to make They're that very They're still together, clear. I would just like to mention. Oh. They're getting married, actually. They're getting married this summer. But yeah, they, uh, <laughs> they, he would, he would take it out with his, Dude, with his mouth. Dude, I hate, okay, so there's this one guy I know. That would always talk about how much he, like, loves eating girls out in their period. I'm like, you're just gross. That's a lot. Like, that's, that's really that's... yucky. Because it's not just, like, it's not, it's like... It's not just it's blood not, like, sometimes. Blood. It's not, like, a cut and there's just, like, a little bit of, like, irony blood. It's, like, there's, like... It's, like... Sometimes it's kind of, like... Well, he'd, like, describe it and it, was, it would really make me want to vomit. Like, it was yeah, so gross. Yeah, it's, like, brown blood and then there's, like, discharge and... It's a, when you when you have your period, you're shedding your uterine lining. It's so not sometimes just like you're chunks bleeding. of yeah, there's meat like chunks come out. of uterine lining. It's gross. Right. Periods are really gross. Except for I would like to say, if we were all talking about right now, you guys would be giggling. What is that? You'd be like, tee hee, Pepe laugh. What are you talking about? But we're talking about periods, and you guys are like, ew, dance game. What are you talking about? It's funny. It's when you don't clean your penis well enough. And so you get, like, cheese. Ew. I've never seen that. Chad thinks it's funny. That is disgusting. <laughs> Ta. Do we have to mute Smella? Sorry, Probably. Danny. I've said it, like, Sorry. 12 times. <laughs> she just won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Smella. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah. 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 It was mortifying. Um. But yeah, um, that was that was my period story. That's a lot. Yeah, that's actually pretty traumatizing. It was. It was terrifying. I was in not the looking it up. I was responding to it to a, to a DM. Um, do you have any other period story? The only one I, I, in middle school I did. I, I bled through a pair of white jeans, and I have not owned a pair of white pants since, and I will never. Well, I had one time. I had one time where. Um, uh, like, it wasn't me. I told this story to my stream the other day. In in eighth grade, my, uh, my friends, quote unquote, this was like kind of the epitome of my junior high and high school, like, upbringing. My friends, uh, I went to the bathroom and they took a thing of ketchup and they twisted it up and cut a hole in it. So I sat and it squeezed all over my ass. And we were at, a, we were at like an amusement park or like a fair. Um, for like, you know, eighth grade, like celebration and graduation or whatever. And, uh, and I, I, so I stood up and I started walking. They all started giggling and it looked like I like bled all over my pants and I was like, what? And it was the ketchup. Yeah. They were, they were kind of bullies. I don't think you ever really had friends, (laughs) good friends. I learned that, but I didn't learn that until I was an adult. And you know how I kind of figured out that I had a really bad friend is my, my best friend of like 15 years, my best friend. My, my mother is dying. Like, my mother is dead, essentially. She, I'm at the hospital and she's a vegetable. She's on a machine. Her heart, like, is running by a machine or whatever. And I call her 
I call my best friend of 15 years and I say, I'm sobbing. And I'm like, my mom, blah, blah, blah. I tell her the whole story. And she's like, you know, she's like, oh my God, that's so awful. That's so awful. Anyway, I've got to go. I have to catch a flight. I'm like, what? <laughs> she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to Washington for the weekend. And I was like, okay, bye. Like, and then, yeah, she left when my mom was dying. Compared to, like, if it was if it was roles reversed, you know, I'd, I would miss any flight oh, right, for right, a right. friend. Like, I, 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 would, I would do anything if somebody, if that was happening to somebody. Like, holy shit. And then, and then uh, yeah, she missed the funeral. She missed all because she was, like, not even, like, she was, like, like not even that far away when it happened. Like, she could have just My would have insulted taken... you. Relax. I would not <laughs> have insulted you. I mean, she could have, she happening. just could have, and she just could have taken a, a flight back. Someone said not everyone is rich. Yeah, but it was like she was going to visit her grandma. Like, and then I, I mean, she ended up telling me a few years later, like, because I, I talked to her about it. I was like, hey, that was messed up. She was like, yeah, well, I didn't know if I was gonna. She kind of like it was unfair. She kind of guilt tripped me, and she's like, well, I didn't know if I was ever gonna see my grandma again. And I was like, I bet she would have lasted a week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you could have, like, you could have been a good friend and just stayed for my mother's funeral for a week. Like, Duh. she wasn't dying anytime soon. Like. I had... I know it sounds really selfish, but I legitimately had... Like, my mother died and I had no one. So, like... Yeah, yeah. And that was my best friend of 15 years. Like, I, I can't... I don't really feel bad. And, like, she guilt-tripped me on an un... Like, on a baseless claim of, oh, it might be... It might have been the last time I ever saw my grandma. And it's like, you literally could have seen her the next weekend. Um, yeah, it was... That's when I realized that. I was like, maybe I don't have very good friends. Oh, what are you doing? Nikki's chat is on screen. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Sorry about that. This whole time? No, I think it just popped up. I don't think there's really an offline. Oh, okay, okay. That's so funny. Um, You're like, what are all these cat It's not apples? as bad, but I've, and I've already told this story. People talk, recycle, whatever. Um, when I was, the, the, the first and only time that I've been in an um, involuntary hold unit because I was suicidal, uh -huh. my best friend of 15 years, and we've gone over this, like, we've, we've talked about it, so, like, we're cool now, you know? Yeah. Um, but, and I, I think she just, like, didn't know what to do, because we also were never, we were like you and me. Like, yeah. we never, like, hugged, we never had, like, deep talks, whatever, but... I feel like we have deep talks. We do. Yeah. But, um, we were, I, I like, had, like attempted suicide, like, the night before, and so I was in this unit, and I had visiting hours, and she had class, and she sent this random guy yeah. to the unit. And, That's crazy. And he just showed up, and I literally, I was like, how did you know? It was this guy that, like, he... Oops. We, oh, my God. I okay. spilled. Um... We went to high school together, but we were not friends, and we went to college together. We'd had, like, maybe, like, three or four conversations in my life. Mm -hmm. And he sh he walks up to the unit. I'm in scrubs, right? Like, I'm yeah. in the... He walks in the visiting room. I literally was, like... I was pissed, too, because I was, like, how did you know that I'm here, and what the f*** are you doing? Yeah. Here? Like, why are you here? And he was, like, oh, like, she sent me because she had class. And I hadn't heard from her at all because I didn't have my phone, right? Yeah. Like, I couldn't hear from anybody. And he was like, yeah, she had class, so, so she sent me here. And then he tried to talk to me about it. He was like, are you okay? Like, what made you want to do this? Like, can I, like, can I do anything? Like, blah, 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 blah. You're like, oh. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. I was like, get out of here. Like, I, I don't want to talk to you at all. It was, it was so, it was yeah. so rough. That is so weird. Yeah, it was really not good. And then my parents came, and then my ex-boyfriend came, and, and it was a whole thing. A whole thing. A whole mess. Yeah. And it was Hassan's fault. It was all Hassan's fault. It really was. Yeah. The, the, do you, are you still friends with that person? Oh, yeah. Oh. Seem oh, not the guy. No, <laughs> not the, the guy girl. I'm up. assuming the girl. Yeah, yeah. The, the interesting thing about my, my, my best friend of 15 years, we ended up, our falling out was caused because of Twitch chat. Actually. Ooh, yeah. yeah. We talked about this. We've, you've talked about this. She, like, told a story on stream, and, and her friend was like, that was about me. Yeah, so <laughs> so whenever I, tell, whenever I tell stories on stream, I do use fake names. Right. No matter what. Like, I, like even if I, I've probably told stories about Maya and used a fake name, so you guys have no context or no clue. Like, I just, <laughs> I just do that. And so, um, 
I, I remember this friend was like super dodging me like yeah. for so long and I was like what is going on because she used to and this is what this is what happened when I grew up in high school is I kind of still believe this you can't be friends in groups of three there oh, seems that is true I have been in trios yeah. before. It's just not. It's never even. No, it's always two and one. Maybe this is girls. I don't. I, maybe this is a girl thing. No, because people in chat are agreeing. It's just you just can't be friends in groups of three because it always seems like two people always, always pair off. Yeah, yeah. Like at any time, like doop, yeah, doop loop. And literally in this group of three that I was, I was, we were best friends like all through junior high, all through high school, and constantly I remember teaming up with one of them to hate the other one, and they would do the same. They'd team up to hate me, and it was just like, Jesus. But now we're adults, and so I'm like, this is not happening, right? <laughs> like, no yeah. way. Um, but the one girl named, comes back, we'll name her Ashley. She comes back, and she, like, moves back into town. We're all back, the trio's back together. It's so exciting. But then, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Michaela, my best friend of 15 years. Um, oh, Martha. Martha. That's an <laughs> awful name. She can't. Martha. Uh, okay. Um, Samantha. Okay. Now, let's freaking adapt. Um, <laughs> somebody, what's a streamer who, it's, help. Uh, Milena. <laughs> Great one. Sarah. 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 So, Sarah, Sarah, my best friend of 15 years, all of a sudden she starts, like, ghosting me, and I'm like, what is going on? Like, yeah. You know, and I'm like, let's hang out, let's hang out, let's hang out. And, um, like, let's, you know, the t town's back together, all three of us, let's go. And so finally, Ashley and, uh, Ashley and Sarah decide to go to dinner with me. And I'm like, great. And they, they text me and they're like, hey, do you want us to pick you up? Implying that they were hanging out before. And I was mm -hmm. like, what the heck? I thought this is like the first time everyone's been hanging out. Yeah. Turns out they've been hanging out. And they spend the whole dinner, we are grown-ass adults. This was not even three years ago. Like, we're grown-ass adults. They spend the whole dinner talking about all the shit they've been doing. They're like, oh, yeah, I remember so-and-so's party, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just sitting there like, aw. I feel like shit. Aw. Like, what is going on? And I had just bought a brand new house. And I, like, this was, like, a big deal. And so, so I'm like, hey, after dinner, do you want to come see my house? And they're like, yeah. And I'm so, I feel super left out the whole dinner. And, and they keep making weird comments about about Twitch. I'm, like, telling them about Twitch. And instead of being, like, oh, that sounds cool, they're, like, so are you going to, like, sell feet pictures now? And I'm, like, right, Jesus. Like, I, I'm doing cool stuff. Like, you know, like, yeah. back then I was streaming from the bakery. I was doing, like, I was doing cool stuff. And they were just, like, so rude the whole time. Anyway, they come back to the house, and I'm, like, do you want to see my new house? And I'm, like, excited to kind of host them, thinking we, like, hang out and drink and stuff after. They walk through the house within two seconds and leave. And I was, like, okay. Ben, you've had, like, the worst life and, like, ever. And I had, like, I remember I had, like, weed gummies. I had weed gummies, and I was like, yeah, do you guys want one? Thinking that they would, like, take one and we'd hang out and watch a show or something. They take one, put it in their purse to take it home for later. And then she's like, oh, can I grab my boyfriend one, too? And I'm like, sure. Ow. Yeah. Ow. And so, anyway, after all of this, I'm like, they leave, and I'm just so mad. And at this point, I was very much so using Twitch chat for, like, coping. Yeah. And the issue is... I'm very nervous that she will hear this story again and probably text me. Oh my god! Ow. Like, I'm uh, I'm nervous wait, I'm she sorry. will. I don't know she, who you I, are. I could see her doing that. I could I'm see not, her hearing this story again. I don't know if she still checks my stuff, but oh my god, she could very much so hear this story again and text me and be like, blah 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 blah. You're in the wrong. Which, whatever. I don't know. I I do agree to an extent. I was in the wrong. I do. I genuinely do. Because what happens at this point in my life, I was using Twitch chat as just people to talk to. Right, I right, clearly right. had no yeah, one yeah. to f***ing talk to. Yeah. I was clearly so alone. And uh, and so, you know, they leave. And I'm just so sad and mad. I go live to vent. And so I go live on Twitch and I'm like, yeah, blah, blah. Oh. I, use, I use fake names. I use every, everything's fake per usual. And I just, I just vent. And I just, whatever. And a part of it's exaggerated because I'm emotional and I'm mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're also, it's Twitch chat. It's content, yeah. Like, I go, I go to the grocery store and it's, I would tell it's no one journey. about it, but I tell chat about it and right, it's right, right. 20 it's, minutes yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. And it's the scariest thing I've ever done. Like, there's a lot of, like, exaggeration when it comes to storytelling. Right. And so, especially, like, I just hung out with these people that were very frustrating. They made me feel awful. Like, I, I felt like all night. And, um... Howdy. 
Taco Man's here. Cinco de Mayo. Thank you. Happy Don't Cinco de Mayo. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Ludwig. Ludwig. Ludwig, I told them the story about how you cleaned up my period. Dude, how about the story of how about cringe you were in front of, <sighs> in front of Beerson, man? Oh, my God. We already went through that. Did, did she say the lie she said, though? Stop. No, no please she said. don't. <laughs> she, she, we're all around. Stop. <laughs> it's not funny. Did I say it? No, yeah. I don't remember yes. what it was. I remember very vividly because I was I, Oh, my God. I remember what it was. Oh, that's so mean <laughs> for you to bring up. Oh. What, what do you mean? It's a funny anecdote. You told about how you bearded on a white chair and I you can't talk about it. You told him? No, I didn't tell Bjergsen about the period. <laughs> she, yeah, it was her icebreaker. <laughs> No, she goes, we're in a circle. She asked me to come over. I, I wait for drinks. For yeah, I, literally, minutes. I texted Ludwig and I said, we need to go. And then when we leave, he's like, why did you want to go? And I was like, I just couldn't go talk to Bjergsen. Yeah. And so I, I get there and it's me, Bjergsen, you, and then um, I believe Andrew. Um, yeah. Support 100 Thieves. And uh, and you're like drifting in and out because then you talk to her and then you walk over and you go, hey, so like, um, do you have more time off now? Uh, like that you lost? And he's like, He's like, uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, we're out. Because they <laughs> lost the tournament. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I, my I, God. I, meant to, I was trying to communicate. You worded it like the nicest thing ever, but it came yes. off like, like the words are a dig. But you yes. worded it like, like genuine curiosity. I was curiosity. so genuine. And now you understand sometimes when people think I'm mean, I just am Dumb. stupid. I'm just so stupid. But pay a class. Yeah. Wow, that's so embarrassing. But, I don't know, he had a great time. He was down for the picture after. He was, we text now. We text about classical music. That's me sick. And, me and B. Call him B. I don't want him to get close to him. It feels weird. Me and B, dog. We're going hiking. Oh, my God, really? Yeah, I'm peyote in the Andes. They're gonna I don't think you should together. tell people that. Man, it's a me and Beardson thing now. Me and B. All right, see you later. Goodbye. Dude, fun. if he becomes friends with Bjergsen and I like, walk in one day and they're hanging out, I'm going to just go back into the street. Into the street. I'm just going to run into the street. Go back into the street. And lay there. Oh, okay. For as long as it takes. As long as it takes. Anyway, where were we? Where anyway, we um, so then, <laughs> back to the story. Uh, so then I, I vent. I vent to chat. Right, 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 right. I just exaggerate. I vent. I'm too emotional. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. I end the stream. Doesn't matter. Um, the next day I'm at work. Oh, my God. I almost wonder if I, I almost wonder if I still have the text. Oh, my God. This is such a disaster. I'm going to check. It's like opening a scary door. I'm scared. Oh, shit. No. I do. Let me read it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God, those are brick walls. Oh my God. I saw, so she texted me. She said, I saw your- Now you're going to leak the text. Dude, I don't you care. are crazy. I, you're I, crazy. She's never going to talk to me again. Okay, I know how she ahead. is. Go ahead. And she holds resentment. Me, she will never talk to me again. You want, a, t do you want nachos? Or do you I want? don't know. Ew, they have sour cream on them, I think. Well, you eat this and see if it's sour cream. That's sour cream. Oh, okay. Well, no, you know. No worry. Quesadilla, that's yummy. I want one of these. Um, I saw your most recent Twitch stream. I'm sorry if you were feeling hurt by me or anything I've done. A lot of what you said happened was not true, and a lot of it was made by impressions and ins inceptions that it seems like you have about what my intentions are and what I've been doing over the last several months are also not true. I wish that you would have come to me rather than doing that. That was very hurtful to me. And it's crazy that she was like, I wish you had come to me. Because you can scroll back and see how many times oh I God. said, hope everything's okay. Are you okay? What are you doing? Like, and she just doesn't reply to me. You can literally scroll back and see, look, how are you? Like, me just checking in on her. Hello? I tried. I tried for months to come to you. I hope... Hope you're doing okay. How have you been? Can, do you see this? Do you see this? Yeah. I have proof. I have proof. I have proof. Wait, don't get mad at me, Normie. I'm sorry. I'm proof, Normie. This is my new friend. She replaced you. Oh, God. She does. Yeah. We're famous now. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I like... I explained to her. I said, Twitch is like reality TV. I take a small thing. Um, blah, blah. Um, um, she's like, I understand the, the concept. Uh, and she's like, 
she was essentially mad that I told the story and she was nervous about the way it made her look, even though no one knew who it was. Right. And will never know who it was. They will literally never know who I am talking about. That's how it goes. They will never track it. They will never know. And she sends me this message and she's like, I hate, I hate what people would think of me if they see this. And I'm like, they won't. They won't see this. So I like, I delete the VOD and like all this stuff and... Anyway, I, I apologize. I apologize profusely. Like, you can, you can, you can see the freaking apology. It's, Dude, it's, a, brick it's a brick wall. wall. I apologize profusely. I'm like, what do you need? She's like, I need time. And I'm like, okay, reach out. Like, you know, yeah. reach out when you're ready. It's been like three years. Like, it's, she's never reaching out. I do listeners. I'm doing a quesadilla. She's doing a quesadilla. But, yeah, that's the story of uh, how I lost my best friend of 15 years. Number one. I shouldn't have talked shit. That was unfair right. of me. Um, Everybody but, that's like, F- that bitch, look. Yeah, I shouldn't have talked shit. She shouldn't, shouldn't have talked shit. Also, as a normie, quantitatively, it's the most attention she's ever gotten in her entire life. She's going to look at that and be like, oh my god, my reputation. Everybody knows. Like, everybody thinks I'm a huge bitch. They have no, there's no concept of being like, nobody's going to know who you are. Yeah. Right? It's she just, doesn't it's, know that. We're so used to our lives being public. Like, it's so normal for us to talk about stuff. But imagine, like... You know, you, someone goes live and then you see them talking about, like, all of your personal stuff. And it, it just feels... Yeah, like you, I also you know, said some really... Personal. I will admit, I said some really hurtful things that I probably shouldn't have said because I was just angry. Mm. Like, I I talked about, like, how she's always been this way and she's such a bit... Like, you know, that stuff I shouldn't have said. I really did go too far with that, I'll admit. And I apologize for that. I was like, I'm really sorry. I was just angry. I was like, blah, 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 blah. Um, but... But, yeah, she stopped talking to me, and she hasn't talked to me in, like, three years. Um, and then I, like, found out that she was, like, hanging out with my ex-boyfriend, and I was like, that's Whoa. weird. Yeah. I Not romantically, that. but it was just, like, I want that's um, weird. Artificial <laughs> hearts. We don't have them. Yeah. But, yeah, so, number one, I am fully aware that I was in the wrong <laughs> in multiple ways. Um, but... She also genuinely dodged me for many months <laughs> when I tried really hard to be a good friend, so. That's tough. That is tough. That is tough. Um, we have a, that scared me. We have a game. You want to play the game already? I feel like I have so much to talk about still. Dude, how many, how long have we been live? Not long enough. It's almost 11 p.m. I have only two hours. Yeah. Two hours and twenty minutes. Well, should we have the game? We have this, and we have this. And I think that's. Why did I just play a? Su- Has there been any noises this whole time? Why was there an alert? It was probably Nikki got an oh. offline sub. Nikki, stop. <laughs> Nikki, please. Oh, now they're all gonna go to Nikki's chat and sub. No. Well, <laughs> now that sounds rude. Well, <laughs> now you should be canceled. Okay, another topic that we had to talk about tonight was after stream, we had a bunch of conversations with the girls about like uh, OnlyFans and Fans House and Fansly mm-hmm. and how crazy it is and how like the, the craziest thing for me for, for those platforms is, is the pay to message feature because I would... I would rather walk out on the road. <laughs> and, and wait. wait. Yeah. Yeah. I I I I I'm can't even messy. fathom like and it's not it's not that like they're terrible people and it wouldn't be fun to talk to them. It's I would be so scared to start forming a relationship. Yeah. And for them to become like obsessed <laughs> obsessed with me. But seriously, I I mean that's that's so scary. Especially if they pay. Right, and then they, and then and then there's an expectation because that yeah, they expect there's like, like this weird entitlement. Entitlement, like, yeah, and they like expect something from you. That's wild. But also, there's so much money in there, and I really like. I would love to get an evaluation <laughs> of how much we would make mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if we made an OnlyFans. Like to actually pay somebody to look into the stats and see like with our numbers what we would make. I can't even imagine with girls like us too that are that are like people would never expect it. If you made one. If you turn one around, oh my god. Also, I have a plan, and this is a leak. If you're here, you're Welcome. here. 
it's not that big of a deal. But whenever I have my next big launch, maybe it's for the Stompy plushies. Maybe it's for an, an Alveus merch launch. Maybe it's for an Alveus merch event. Maybe, I don't know. But on Instagram, you can make a link and then you can write a preview for your link. Like you can make the link, That's click here. so smart. And then whatever. And I am one day going to do on my Instagram, onlyfans.com slash Maya. And then they'll click the link and it'll be like Alveus merch or something. Just so you know, if you see that on my Instagram story, I will never make an OnlyFans, but oh, I do appreciate you following that link anyway. Um, I want to steal that. Can I steal that? Yeah, but I think it's a really good. It's also a good gauge. Like, imagine. Because you, you can see how many clicks that link got. Yeah. Like, that's big. You can also see who clicked it. I have some normie friends that follow me. That'd be crazy. Oh, huh? my God. Yeah. Your dad? Okay, relax. <laughs> what? I would be crazy if he clicked it. My dad does not have an Instagram. Thank God. That would be weird. Because he'd click it. That would be really weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's call Linity. Do you think she'll answer? I don't know. I don't have her number. What? I, I don't have her number, I don't think. But we were, we were friends for all of Girls Trip. Oh my God, I do have her number. Yes! Wait, I actually have her number too. Calling her? Do you see this? Yeah. Uh, uh, Lenity died. Maybe I don't have her number. Should I try? Yeah. I might have the wrong one. Let's just compare real quick. She gave me a fake number. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, so what number do you have? Is it this? Should I read it out loud? Yeah. That's oh, not you do not close. have it. Okay. That's not even yeah, close. Yeah, she gave you a fake Should number. Should I delete bitch. this contact? I'm yeah. deleting it. I'm FaceTiming her. I deleted the contact. I don't know what that is. This is this pretty is awkward for us. It's really late for her. No, it's not. She's in California. <laughs> I could call Rich Campbell. Yeah, that seems good. He'll He's know. He's a businessman. He'll man. know. Yeah, he'll know. He'll know for sure. Friends hate us. So we've got no friends. Should I call my mom? They heard us talking. I don't think your mom would know. Hello. Oh, Rich, Rich live. we're live. Wait, you're live? I'm live. You're on the famous podcast and whine about it. What do you have to whine about today? Oh, dude, I'm hanging out with Shroud right now. I really don't have time for this. Why aren't we invited? What the heck? What? Oh, like, we yeah, might have COVID. Are, right. aren't, you guys, aren't you guys on, like, girls? Girls, uh... You... Rich, shut up. Oh, my God. Wait, you're actually live? Yes, we're live. I have a question for you. Yeah, what's up? How much do you think that Cutie and I would make annually, individually, if we made an OnlyFans? Uh... Man, you really put me on the spot here. Um... Uh... Uh, a, a lot. You guys are both great. I think. I think you. Uh, Come a, on. A lot, Rich. but not. Like, uh, we need more than that. Okay, you want me to actually get down to? Wait, give me one second. Oh, she's in the bathroom. Oh, sure. I, I, I gotta deal with this. It's right now. I'll be, I'm really sorry. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right. No, Proud. Totally How much will we make on only? All right, let me let me get her out of the bathroom. Mia's in the bathroom right now. Oh, she Mia would know. Mia out. would be perfect. Okay, hi. You get stuck all the time. All right. Uh, <laughs> so I'm currently on the phone with Cutie, Cinderella, and Maya. Mia. How much money they would make on the OnlyFans? Probably a lot. She said probably a lot. But like, if you had to put a number on how much Maya would make, how much would it be? 
she wants to know if you had to put a number on how much money. She has no idea. Depends on what you're doing. Look. Pull, an, pull only. Hey, I have an idea. What do you think? Do you guys need a manager? I can do it. No. Well, we're not starting OnlyFans. Also, you're dog shit. I'm dog shit? I'd be a great manager. I was fucking born for this. Have you seen my mustache? <sighs> Yeah, you can't go near schools because of that thing. Rich, you can't even give us an evaluation. Ladies, I can give you an evaluation. It's okay. gonna be a lot, and ten percent of it's mine. That's not an evaluation, Rich. <laughs> okay, okay, I think Maya, Cutie. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, we can create fake beef between the two of you. Okay. And then you have to go between the two OnlyFans accounts to see what's happening. It would be like a comic book. But it's actually a pretty good idea. Fully naked. Well. <laughs> like, all those, like, right, I hate Maya across my naked body. Yeah, I need to make sure I don't get too far right now. No, 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 that's yeah, good, that's yeah. good, that's good. Keep going. Shroud's still waiting. Shroud's still waiting? Oh, okay. Uh, Who else is there? Yes. Uh, literally, literally Twitch. So, they heard everything. Oh! What's up? <laughs> uh, and they are not behind it, but I am getting 10% of this. Okay. Yeah. Yo, I'm actually, I'm down for this. Well, for this. I needed a number, Rich. Give me yeah, a number. you still haven't done much for us. I think us. we can make at least $200,000 a month each. Wow. I, I, think think. That's, I think that's reasonable. You are over evaluating I mean, me. At least for the first at least for the first two months. Yeah. And then people people will get bored. That's why oh. we need to slow roll everything. Hmm. Right. That's what we're that's that's what we're doing with like everything that we do. Like OTK, we just been slow rolling production. Our production right. Oh my I've, shut up, I've noticed not asking about that. I've noticed that. Have you seen my tattoo? No. It's cool. Guys, let's get this started. Okay. I'm gonna talk to your agent. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Rich. You've been lovely. Thank you, you for your time. You guys wanna hang out later? No, no we can't. We can't. We're ice. Yeah, we're. Thank you. You can't. Yeah. You have such a scummy. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go hang out with Shroud. Bye. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I hate him. Yeah. I hate him. He's the worst. I think that's reasonable, though. I would not make 200k a month. I think you make 200k a month. First month, 100%. First month would be more than that. First month, it would be nuts. I'm doing it. I want to be rich. I think this is insane. Like, I, okay, I have no idea how, I, I don't know any of the numbers. I don't know how much a sub costs. Uh -huh. But, like, if I were to go rogue and just do a full... Like OnlyFans, not even lewds, just like nudes. I think I can make a million a month. I don't know if that's ego. I really wow. think if I went crazy, the ego on this one. If I went crazy, she I doesn't think even I have really think that I could. Yeah, that's true. I don't even have, but I'm pretty certain I could make a million a month. Wow, it'd be crazy. I guess that, that is how much Corinna made. Corinna's huge, and she's, she's like actually way hot. hot though. But the thing about the difference though is that like. Everyone would be like, Maya's Maya? making yeah. like, only yeah. fans? Like, that's true. what is this even going They'd be like, like I've got to check it out. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Like, even if you're not sexually attracted to me, you'd be like, what the f***? I need to see what she's doing. Yeah. Did I tell you about the girl in my high school? I think I mentioned this. No. The girl in my high school that started OnlyFans recently, and I was like, i got to sub to that. Right. <laughs> that's crazy. You just have to know. What has she got? And I'm you like, oh, she's got pierced nipples. That's what she's got. That's crazy. And I was surprised. I have a cousin that does that. I know a girl who uh, got the nipple piercing ripped out from like a MRI machine or something. Where they like, they're checked. Oh they're like, hey, did you, do you have any piercings? And she's like, no. And then she went in there and <laughs> ripped her nipple. Idiot. I hate that. Link, stop. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah. See you later, nipple. Um... Dude, what sucks is during that whole story about that, that old best friend, I had another story to go with it, and I Ew. can't remember. I can't Ew. remember what it was. Ew. What? This, I actually am pretty fine with this wine. No. Oh, okay. Oh. It is gross. It is gross. Ew. Ugh. Texas period story? She already told I it. I definitely told that story. She already told it. I did tell it. Um, 
How many times in your life have you done the folding toilet paper makeshift pad thing? You know what? Okay. This is a secret to all ladies in chat and men, I don't care what you have to say about this. You're in I really don't. Um, the best thing I ever learned was actually in this book. I got this little book as a teenage girl that was like tips to being a teenage girl. And it was like really cheesy, but it was really cute. It was like, remember, tell yourself you're beautiful every day. Okay, like, for sure. And it had like period tips. It was like, okay. like, you know, get like a bag of rice and put it on your tummy. Like, you know, okay. stuff like that. One of the tips in there is actually life changing. And it sounds gross, but guys, sometimes it's your only option. Uh, your sock. You take your sock off and use it as a pad. Oh, as a pad. I thought you meant as a tampon. I no. Was like, you better not. You use it as a pad and it... L lifesaver. If really? you have nothing else. Because, yeah, you know... So this is what happens, guys. You're at school or something like that and the, the toilet paper is like... You so blow on thin. it and it rips. So I swear, the amount if of times I take toilet paper and I've rolled it like see, this. See, I immediately started yeah, yeah, doing yeah. it. And I know exactly. I try to fold it in half and yep. put it in there, but then it just slips out too. Is that sanitary? Yeah. So your option is either bleeding through your pants or getting a little bit of foot on your vagina. Like, it's literally fine. I told you I had somebody put a foot in my vagina once. Yeah, you did. It happens. You guys, you <laughs> it's very, you would not get a UTI from not that. Not a whole foot. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Not a whole foot. That'd be crazy. A casual tippy toe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, you will not get any he weird broke infections. broke his collarbone, okay? <laughs> you can't justify it. We didn't have a... <laughs> there's, there's just... <laughs> the, the collar blown, his boner still works. I don't know why you had to use a toe. I don't know either. I was 17. Peer pressured. Sounds like... Yeah, you know, you just you just you just experiment when you're 17. Like, you just gotta just, I didn't. I didn't leave my virginity didn't. until I was 21. Wait, don't tell me. Oh my God, you told me. It came out. You said <laughs> we don't tell me to, so slowly. I know. I'm drunk, but we were supposed to. That's part of the game. I know. Shut up. Oh my God. So here's the deal. A sock. One time, a guy told me to shut up, and I told him that if he told me that one more time, I would break up with him. You're not listening. Because you're not absorbing that how great this sock thing is. This is how blood feels. What? <laughs> she goes, you're just not absorbing what I'm saying. But I am listening to what you're saying. Then why aren't you replying to me? You've moved. Your... Oh my god, it actually, I feel. <laughs> say the, say this words. This is why I'm Acknowledge what I've said. I have, I have acknowledged what you said. You want to put a sock on your vagina. No, it's when you're, it's a good period solution. Yes, I agree. I will try Finally! It. Oh That's god. all I wanted. It lasts way longer. It can last you like all day. You're not going to get athlete's foot in your vagina if you're thinking that you literally don't know how vagina works. Idiots. Also, that would mean you also have athlete's foot, and that seems like you have a bigger problem. Cutie and I have talked a bunch of times about getting, uh, not waxed, um... Laser. Laser together. Yeah, we're gonna do it. No, are we? Why are it's you saying really, no to me? It's really scary. Why? Laser, okay, first of all, it hurts. Yeah. Second of all, it's thousands of dollars. Third, you have to go, like, six times before it's gone, and then it's not even a permanent solution. Then you have to go back in a few years and do it all over again. Yeah, but I want to do it. I don't know if that's worth. Also, I really hate shaving, I, and all the girls on TikTok, their coochies look so smooth. That's and actually true. Mine just simply doesn't look as smooth as theirs. I have I pores. I cannot even fathom getting a massage and allowing somebody to touch me like that. I don't know how it would feel getting in the stirrups and spreading my legs so that they could laser me. Yeah, I got, I got, I got, um waxed i've only been waxed like one time and it hurt so bad and it felt so violating i left and i was like that was when crazy. she said tiktok she means like girls in swimsuits on tiktok yeah where you see no like nothing no not a pore exists nothing. around the area the bikini line it just looks like stomach skin yeah or like they're like skin. in their in their rave clothes there's just yeah. no it, it looks it looks less hair than your arm like it is crazy yeah and maybe it's photoshop but then they always have this follow-up this follow-up tiktok that's like so a lot of you were asking about my coochie and my last TikTok, and I just used this cream, and the cream's always bullshit. And I'm like, what do you actually do? What do you do? They laser. They piss me off. That's what they do. <laughs> they laser. They piss me off. They laser. So I want laser. I'm just scared, man. I want it. I feel like it would hurt really bad. It will. Okay, well. We can go once uh, we and then never it, go back. We can do it if we 
vlog it, but not our vaginas, like our faces. And yeah. At least we can write it off because it's really expensive. <laughs> Don't tell them our plan. Sorry. Sorry. Um. Anyway, we're gonna do that soon. Subscribe to the Patreon. <laughs> We don't have one. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. Hello, hello. Um, yeah, okay, maybe. Anyway. Yes. Yeah, Maya actually made a girls' trip vlog that was cut excessively short. <laughs> <laughs> Cutie's like, we're sitting in the, we're laying in the, but Andy said my hurts. I'm really sorry. Babe. Ooh. That sucks. Um, we're, we're laying in the bed, Cutie's crying, because girls' trip is over, and I just pull up my phone, and I'm like, all right, guys, this may or may not be the end of the vlog. I, like, panicked to Cutie, and she's like, F*** your vlog. <laughs> and I was like, this is really important, please. Like, I'm really sorry. This is the end of the vlog. <laughs> like, I don't know. Girl strip is over. You can check the tweet if you want. And now Danny's going to have to edit it. Good luck, Danny. It was sick. It was really funny. It was really sick. Um, check out the vlog soon. It'll be up. Well, the hottest, the hottest TikToks, let's talk about how cringe they are. And Maya doesn't know a lot of this because she doesn't follow celebrity drama or anything like that. No, because my TikTok is fully for content. Well, don't look at me like I use TikToks for... You know how I actually look at TikToks? They suck me in and make me feel bad about myself. I treat them like poison, little poison in my brain. <laughs> They're poison. Are you drunk? It's like cutting. I think we're both a little bit tipsy. It's just like, it's like so <laughs> bad for me. Don't, oh my God. It's okay, a perfect don't example. Say that. Why? Why? Yeah, why is that a good example? Because I go on TikTok and I see only these size zero girls with all this plastic surgery and they're gorgeous. And then I go, that made me feel bad about myself. Swipe up. I still don't look like her. Swipe up. Hey, Miss. God, I should get that surgery. Swipe up. Wait, what did Myth say? That I should get surgery. <laughs> Myth, that is so mean. Yeah. First, first this, now that. It's really mean. He's like, question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's really mean. Yeah, and so <laughs> I'm really on. really mean that you would say that. I'm on plastic surgery, surgery TikTok. Plastic surgery. <laughs> You're pissing me off. First Wait, this, then you that. you from New York? Why'd you say it like that? I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking You're here. You're pissing me off. You're pissing me off. I'm talking here. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Myth, we went on like a 20-minute rant about Bjergsen, and now I feel awkward about going on the rant about Bjergsen. I'll never be what normal. If you, got, if you had to get any plastic surgery, what would it be? Everything. No, one. Procedure. You're so cringe, by the way, that you said that. I could list, like, 12 things. Every time Cutie instantly. says anything about her weight or the way that she looks, I literally want to hit her. I think it's so cringe. Sorry, is that being a bad friend? Yeah. I just think it's really dumb. Number one, rude. Number two, my first priority, I probably, I really want to get my lips done. Why? You have, like, very, for a white person, sorry, is that right? I'm white. She's it's racist. Fine. For, no, you have like really listeners? nice lips for a white person. She's racist. Um, I do, but when I smile, they disappear, and it really makes me self-conscious. Okay, just get filler, then. That's so easy. That's, well, like, not even controversial. Not either. even filler, because filler is weird. Why? Because uh, it, like, like f goes other places. What? Apparently. Like, filler can, like... You can get it in your lips? Yeah, it, like, can, like, go over here. Plus, I know people that get filler, and then they do it unevenly, and then they have weird, f stupid lips. It migrates. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> the south. In the winter. <laughs> Not the south. <laughs> I... I used to think... When I, was, when I was growing up... Here's the thing. I got duped. Okay? Understand. I was in second grade when my mom got breast how cancer. How did the... Wait. What, how did this moth get in here? Nothing is open. Leave it alone. You really, you cut off my story and now... Oh, it what does it feel like, you dumb bitch? I have not been Whenever I tell anything important about my no, life... No, I you, you literally, I only cut you off because you were talking about League of Legends, bro. I, that is right. the only reason I cut you so off. So special to me. Oh my god. It's so special to me. And you won't even listen to it. I literally feel like we're in a romantic relationship. Dude, the, the, You're the pictures pissing and me people off. saying <laughs> that we were, that we're engaged, it's actually cringe. It's getting cringe. We're like an old married couple. I'm gonna, I'm cringing, I'm cringing. 
I forgot what I was saying. Oh, this is great. You were talking about your stupid small boobs because about... your mom had big boobs because she had breast cancer. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's exactly what I was talking about. I know. I've All heard right. the story. When I was in second grade, my mom <sighs> had breast cancer. She got a double mastectomy. My mom got double D's when she got a surgery. And so when I was growing up, I thought that I would have really big boobs because my mom had really big boobs. Turned out they were fake boobs. So when I was growing up and all my friends were getting boobs, I was like, Mom, what's up? Why am I not getting boobs? And she was like, Oh, honey, I got a double mastectomy and I have breast cancer. And I was like, What the fuck? That's actually really fucked up. I never got past today. So, for a while, I thought that I was going to get boob surgery. I was like, I want bigger boobs. Like, I, I've just been planning this my whole life. Like, I'm really bummed out. Um, but I don't think I could do it. And I'm beginning to feel like a rap god. Mom spaghetti. I don't think I could do it. I can't do it because I'm terrified of surgery. My thing is like, all right, this is really bad. This uh -huh. is, wait, ooh, I don't know if this is mean. I, maybe it's a little offensive. Uh-oh, you're about to piss somebody off. Coming out of the clip. Oh, this is empty. Okay, so we have, we're, we're about that far. No, I don't want more. I'm just trying to check. We like, always go through we two have. bottles. We, you say that, and we never do that, dude. Oh, my God. We never do that. We don't have a bottle each time. Someone roll the That tapes. is insane. Don't say hashtag Maya's over party. Myth, last time you said that, you ruined my life. And you ruined Girl's Trip, okay? You're going to ruin this for us, too. I'm going to... Also, can I'm we talk about Myth's reply? Your reply was gross, Myth. Yeah. And I hated it. I didn't like it either. Myth posted a picture of himself with, with boogers, boogers. In his nose, and then he texted me, and he goes, Maya, did you see my tweet? And I was like, I hate it. And he was like, it get fucked, loser. Now you have to look at it. Are you literally 12? Like, I didn't even respond. I, I was like, hated oh my God, it. he's literally 12. It made me want to throw up, Myth. I hate boogers. It's literally why I won't have children, because I'll always have boogers on them, and I can't. I saw a TikTok video the other day of a mom sucking boogers out of her baby's mouth. Baby's nose. With a thing? No, with her mouth. I'll... Don't... No, you won't. Myself. No, you... No, you won't! <laughs> That's crazy. You had so much time, dude. That's crazy. You had so much time. All I said was myself. <laughs> all I said was myself. That's all I said. I didn't say anything besides myself. That's disgusting. <laughs> Kitty, you think that was smooth? It was the least smooth Nothing thing I've ever Nothing makes me want to vomit more. Stop. We need to work on so that, gross. seriously. It's actually not. bad. No, we really do. It's called manifesting. Stop! <laughs> it's not funny. Sorry. Chat, it's not Sorry, funny. Sorry, chat. Audio I go to therapy, don't worry about me. Funny. So do I. Anyway, back to my story. I This is kind of mean and kind of controversial, and mm -hmm. I actually don't think that it's something that I would say if I hadn't had this alcohol, which means that I probably shouldn't say it otherwise. But... My problem with uh, getting a breast augmentation is I don't think I could ever feel good about it because I would never feel like it was truly for myself. I think that the only reason that I want bigger boobs is for the male gaze. <laughs> I feel like I just want it to be, like, hotter, you know? You know what's crazy? I don't think I want to look in the mirror and be like, oh, yeah, boobs. I like, can I say I, I'm slightly nervous about saying this because I don't want anyone to feel bad, but I never thought of getting a boob job until I moved in with these the boys. What? Because these boys... We'll always like talk about boobs. Talk about boobs. They'll be like, "Oh, she's got the biggest yes. bazonga dongas," and I'm like, "Okay." And no, no it on. just never made me. It, I just never. I never thought about getting a boob job until I moved in with the boys, That's and actually I really sad. I realized how much they like talk about big boobs, and it made me. I was like, "Shit!" And so I like, but I'm too afraid of surgery. Changer. I was at a bar and I only had a, I had like a 30 minute long conversation with a girl and it was only because she had huge boobs. You did that? Yep. Why? I, I just, I like, I saw her and I was like, that is crazy. And then I talked to her about it and then we talked for like 30 minutes, but if she had normal size boobs, I would not have even paid no mind. I, I don't even think I would have It's crazy because you never go up to a girl with such small boobs because you're interested. You're like, wow, I want to learn about how she... Keeps, it was just crazy. I, keeps her nipples from being chafed. <laughs> yeah. You never do that. But for some reason, you go to the girl with big boobs and you want to talk about why her boobs are big. Yeah. Society. I think my first question, I was just like, is, is your back okay? <laughs> and she's like, no, it really hurts. And I was like, I bet it does. I bet it does. Yeah. And I was like, you know what's crazy is I sleep on my stomach every night and I'm really sorry that, that I know that you don't. I think the thing is about fake boobs, do fake boobs weigh less than real boobs? Like, is a fake size B weigh less than a real size B? I would assume yes. It's like jelly implants. I feel like no. 
No. Yes. No. They feel off. Also, when you get... They weigh more? Like, my mom has to get new new implants, too. Like, they don't, they don't last forever. Like really? You to, yeah, you have to get new ones. I mean, it's been a long time. Well, and I know, and a lot of people, a lot of people, their bodies, like, reject them. Mm. Which is, like, scary. I think, I think that's part of it, too. I actually used to watch, uh, I used to watch this show. God, does anyone else remember the show? Andy, you probably remember this show. I believe it used to be on MTV, and it was really bad. It was actually, I, this is, like, peak early 2000s TV. It used to be on MTV, and it was, it was these people that wanted to look like celebrities. Botched. No. It was people that... Botched was a good show. I think they were, it was called Obsessed or something like that, and they wanted to look like celebrities. It wasn't true life. There were some true lives about it, and I think, I believe the true life led to the show. Yeah, Andy said, oh yeah, and there was this girl that like wanted to look like Paris Hilton, and she like went through so many surgeries to look exactly like Paris, and she didn't look like her, of course, because you just, there's, it's just impossible through surgery. Guys, it's not botched. You all keep saying botched. But I remember watching, like, the the surgery for, like, boob jobs and stuff like that, and it made me not want to have a boob job, like, so badly. But I also wish, if I could have bigger boobs without surgery, I would do it in a heartbeat. What does that mean? Like, take something? Yeah, if you could, like, push a button, and it's just... Vroom. I mean, I can tell you... How to get bigger boobs without surgery. What? How? Have a baby. Oh, okay. Well, is there an easier way? No. Okay, well. Yeah. So I'm just, yeah. Or, I mean, you could follow. There are lots of this is This that, is like a pretty... <laughs> <laughs> I'm could, sure, yeah. I mean, most of them are about getting bigger. But there are definitely ones about boobs, so you could try to follow one and see what happens. I could. I make a YouTube video. I follow yeah. it. How bad I'm now I have lead poisoning. For sure no fishing there. Um I I don't I I I be I've always actually been confident in my boobs until like in the recent years. Oh I've never been I mean why would <laughs> No. I've always had a problem with that. I've always yeah. had a problem with that since eighth grade. It started in eighth grade. When it started in eighth grade when uh we started using locker rooms. Did when you when girls started going in locker rooms and changing in locker rooms. Did you ever <laughs> I am not going to read Myth's message. Yeah, me neither. Did you ever, um, did you ever take your bra off in front of girls in the locker room? Never. I never did either. Never. I still won't. Uh-uh. Yeah. Judy and I had no, to get our boobs taped for the We're the same way. No, I actually won't. We had to get our pasties. boobs taped for the award show, and I was legitimately like, no. Like, I'm, I, I, like, don't, Cutie's seen, we've both seen all of each other's, pretty much, actually, no, we've both seen all of each other's. But, but no nipples. You, no, I think we've both seen each other's nipples. I've like, never seen little. your nipples. Okay. You've never seen my nipples. <laughs> Don't make this weird. You've never seen my nipples. Have you seen my nipples? <laughs> oh, God. What do you think? Were they weird? <laughs> Wait, I guess maybe I haven't. You haven't. I know you but haven't. when we were, like, getting I know you haven't because I'm severely, like, <laughs> weird about my nipples. I but actually... When we were getting taped up for the uh-huh. award show, we never saw each other's nipples, really? Yeah. I'm very modest. Did you literally, I literally today we were changing in your bathroom and I like had my tits out. There's no way you didn't see my. I nipples. wasn't looking. I literally had my tits out. Uh. Uh-huh. That's crazy. I thought about that today. When, what do you when mean? Changing... You you were wearing a bra, remember? And then no. you're like, should I be in a? No, because I was asking if I should change into a strapless bra. Yeah, and then I was like pulling my out of my bra, and I was like, I'll change into a strapless bra, and I was like, wait, like that might be the first time that she's really seen my boobs. Oh. But you weren't looking. All right. Well, see. All right. So never mind. Never mind. I. I'm weird. I get really, I, I've never, I, I've never, like, I want a famous face. Yeah, that was the show. That was the show. I've never, like, openly, freely changed in front of girls. And all you the girls that? in my high school would, like, we'd get ready for prom together, and they'd just be, like, shirts off, walking around, and I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> it made me so, I, I get so shy. It's so scary. Um, yeah, that's Yeah, and I, I developed, you already know, I developed a weird nipple complex, even though I actually, I genuinely do have very normal nipples. Um... You're pouring copiums right now. Why would you say it like that? I think. <laughs> that was such a weird... <laughs> I do. They're super normal. They really are normal. <laughs> they are. I, like, Googled so many people's nipples because I want to make sure mine were normal. Mine are normal. Oh, my God. They're very normal. So funny. Uh, but I'm just, I'm just shy about it. I don't know. I feel like once you show nipples, like, your whole boob for some reason. 
No, I get it. I'm fine with pasties. I just feel like once you show, it's right, just right, like... Right, 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 right. I'm definitely... No, I've seen your tits and pasties for sure. Yeah. yeah. They're fine. And vice versa. You know what's crazy? Miss Tricky. Have you seen... I'm sorry we're talking about so much about boobs. I just realized we have 90% male audience. Guys, don't be weird about this. Tricky's so hot. Tricky's gorgeous. But Tricky and I are... Um, Tricky and I were changing in the same room together. And... I had pasties on, of course. And she stops and she goes, you have the same size boobs as me. No. And I say, no. <laughs> no, you don't. I huh? said, no, I don't. And then she takes her shirt off, like, out, nipple out. We have the same exact size boobs. Hers are just closer together and she wears a push-up bra. But my, my, my boobs don't want to be friends. They're like, what? They, like, hate each other. They're actually trying to get further away. That's crazy. Yeah. Close boobs is actually the secret. You know, the beautiful thing for me is, for whatever reason, and it's not really for men. Like, I think men still love big boobs, as they always have. Yeah. But, like, small are kind of in right now. Like, the small look, it's it's like an aesthetic almost. It goes in and out, I think. Yeah. But right now, it's chill. Like, you can kind of embrace it. It's just like I in. do like, I do like LA especially. It still makes me a little uncomfortable. Like, I get a little nervous. But, like, mm -hmm. girls were, like, will just, like, wear white shirts and no mm -hmm. bra. Mm -hmm. And it, they look badass and cool, and I'm like, go yeah. you. But then also sometimes never. I'm, like, a boy, and I see them, and I'm like, she's hot. <laughs> like, cool nipples. Right. So I could never. Yeah, I could never. But. This was not on our list. It's very in. This, this was, was not, not on our list. list. I'm sorry about this. But also, you know what other plastic surgery I'd get? I want my eyes, like, lifted or something. I feel like the. the just, this your eyebrows. chunk of fat right here always hangs over my eyes, and I look like a pug. Or a, I, in, in my in a no, sorry, not a pug. I look like a bulldog or a, a hound or something. Okay, Can especially from the side. This is not like just me, and it, this isn't even me farming. The fact that she thinks she looks like a bulldog is fucking crazy, right? Like that's straight up dysmorphia. You don't look like a bulldog at all. I like, do at. All that ma that it, that makes no sense to anybody else. Yeah, because it's also right here. It's really droopy. Dude, that is crazy. That your 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 face is not droopy at all. It is. It's you so droopy. Don't have it, no, that that's actually insane. I like want a face. Like I don't know if this is good for you or if I'm not being nice to you, but like I can just tell it from an, from an, like objectively, it is crazy that you think you look like that because you don't. I don't. I, I don't know how else to say. It. I don't, I don't know, know how to tell you this. Or not. But I do. <laughs> no, you you don't. Another thing I want to get done is buccal fat removal. What the f*** is that? I learned about it on TikTok. Okay, go ahead. It is, we all have these, these fat little cheek pads inside your cheeks, and they take them out, and so you get more... Like Kim Kardashian. Margot Robbie has it. Robbie. Gigi Hadid has it. The Jenner has it. Do you call her Gigi? I always do that. Gigi and Gigi is the same word to me. It's really messed up. Gigi. I know. I do it to I do it to Gigi on Twitch too. I, I always call her Gigi. I don't know where I don't know where the hell I got that. It just I don't it's know. Dyslexic. I'm dyslexic. Anyway, buccal fat removal is dope. Also, a little Tinkerbell nose lift. Think it's called Tinkerbell. They put a little bit of Botox. You already in have like a buttony nose. Lift. I know, but it's so cute. It's like dink. And a lip flip. is dumb, and she has an attitude. And I would like to get, um, potentially, like, Kybella. That I can understand. Yeah. That one, I could kind of vibe with. My thing is, I... I want I'm, this tightened. I'm self-conscious about my profile. I think that mm -hmm. I have a really weak chin. I used to have a really strong jaw. I don't know what happened. I think I have a really weak chin, and I kind of, like, if I had to get some, any plastic surgery, like, mm -hmm. including, like, whatever, mm -hmm. I think I would probably get some sort of, like, jaw augment. Really? Like some sort of like, yeah, to like extend. I don't know, like if you can like extend your chin or something. You can do filler want, like, for that. My chin. I don't want, I mean, I don't want that. Yeah, I migrates. <laughs> but if south. I had to get something, I don't know how to explain it. I don't even know if that's a thing. <laughs> I think it is. Well, I think it is. They can put implants anywhere. Yeah, Giga Chat shit, you know what I mean? Um, also, I'll probably get this done at some point. I want like filler, like hair filler right here. I hate how deep this goes. It makes me really self-conscious. You should talk to Mitch. Yeah. He got, a, he got a hair implant, but it's taking really long to grow back. Yeah, I believe it. Like, really long. It, it just looks like, um, it looks like you mowed the lawn right there. Oh, that's so interesting. Mitch. Yeah. Huh. He hates it. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, I want like a, there's this thing called like a fox eye lift, and they're like really, it's like really pretty. Mm. It's like just some Botox right here and there. I don't think I'm. I, I don't think I'll ever get anything. I don't want some lipo in my arms. Oh my god, I don't think I'll ever get anything done. We're talking about this, but like I, I, my problem with it is I could never spend money on it and go through the recovery and feel f like wholly good about it, like W wholly good about it, and think that it was for me, you know? Like, I would just think that it was, like, for, for other people, and I wouldn't feel great about it. I think I will 100% get a lip flip at some point. Mm. That's I, not scary. When I smile, it really does go away, and it makes me feel really bad. Cutie's joking? No, she's not. Isn't that I'm crazy? I'm dead ass. Dude, Cutie and I talk about this all if the time. If I wasn't afraid of, like, I will find plastic surgeries that I think are really cool, and I'll, like, save them in my phone. That's how obsessed I am with it. Dude, she, she'll, she'll say things sometimes, and I'm just like, that is actually crazy that you think that. Like, she straight up has some, like, dysmorphia issues. I'm fine. Okay. She's I go fine. to therapy. So do I. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, boy. We were going to do the Mother's Day issue with our moms. Oh, yeah. Wait, it's Mother's Day weekend. We are like, oh, yeah, we'll do a Mother's Day episode where I bring my mom on the podcast, and then we bring out, like, a Ouija board for Cutie's mom because she's dead. It's really messed up for you to say. It would have been funny. I offered to get a Ouija board for tomorrow and Cutie said no. I don't want to play with it. She's too scared. I don't want to play with it. People are saying Cutie hands. Oh, I go like this. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're being kind of weird right I now. know. <laughs> I have a nervous, you, you'll see, even when I'm thinking, I pace. I, I can't, I'm very bad at sitting still. So I, I like to play with okay, things, dude, and then I realize I that the that looks like I'm... I do the shit when I'm on the phone. Yeah. Do, do that? Yeah. When I'm on a call with somebody, I will, like, I don't even know. Like, I, I'll, like, fully, like, brace myself in a window. <laughs> like, I'll just, like, pace around my yeah. apartment and, like, slide under things and, like, like, put my feet up on the wall, and then I'll, like, put myself in a window and just, like, stand there while I'm on the phone. I don't know why. It's, like, when I'm on the phone with someone, I just, like, do, I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. It's only when I'm well, on the phone. Well, it's super, it's super strange, because I, uh, uh, I feel like I can't think unless I'm pacing. Oh. Like, even today, when people are, like, what do you want to do? I was, like, I gotta think about it. And I, like, you have OCD, though, right? Started walking. Yeah, the, I, have, I do have OCD. But it is funny. I, I made, did you, have you seen any of my, this sounds nerdy nerd alert watch out everybody here she comes um have you seen any of my sims streams yeah oh you have yeah are you a fan i'm a fan of you that's what this was all for Ew, we've I, made it it's actually really, really cringe why would you say that to me if you're a fan can you continue what you were saying <laughs> oh my god um uh anyway i uh i made i didn't make my my lovely chatters made 83 streamers in The Sims. And I yeah. made my whole world, it can't load NPCs, it's like actually sick and it's super fun to play. And your Sim, for some reason, without me touching it ever, will just randomly start doing push-ups. Yeah, I'm jacked. <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy. <laughs> like you'll be in the middle of a conversation, you'll just jump down and <laughs> start doing push-ups. In like 10.30 p.m., your, your Sim started playing basketball all by themselves. I love basketball. Yeah. Your sim loves it, too. I love basketball. It was really sad, though, because Soda Pop and Sim murdered Nim. Murdered him. That is so mean. Yeah. And E-Rob didn't get murdered. W. Brit fell in love with Myth and then murdered him. <laughs> Wait, maybe E-Rob did get murdered. L. Dude, I love basketball. I had, I've had several people ask me lately about, like, working out and stuff. You work out how often? I'm trying to figure out if Erob also got murdered. I'm waiting for my chat to tell me. Because for some reason, I feel like something happened to Erob too. If you're short, why? Dude, I played point all through high school. You don't have to be tall to play point. You just have to be... Oh, Erob e got ran over by a car, but he didn't die. Aw. Sorry. That's sad. Um, but Myth did die. How often do you work out? Britt ripped his heart out. Quite literally, her sim did, and then he died. It's crazy. Uh, I work out three times a week with a personal trainer. My chat pays for my personal trainer with three their subs. Three times a week? That is wild. Was that not enough? Do, no. That is... Oh, my God. 
No, that's plenty. I'm losing weight. I think. I'm gonna look at the first wine about episode. Oh my god, I can't stand you, dude. It's actually crazy. Like when you say it like this, I just, I just want to bully you so bad. But I know that's like, I feel like that's not productive. Like Wait, I don't know how to handle it uh, besides telling you like you're f-ing insane. Like you're uh, so just... wrong about the way that you look. It's like it actually pisses me off. But I don't think that that, that that's it's not helpful. helpful. Okay, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that's not helpful. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Anyway, you all know, you all understand what I'm saying, okay? They, don't they get it. literally all understand where I'm coming from. It's, uh, I'll figure it out later. Anyway, um, what, wait, what were we talking about? You. Oh, working, out, working out. out. No, dude, I have not gone to the. I went. I've gone to the gym once in the past six months, and it was my apartment gym. And I went in there. There was a man in there. So oh, I left. You had to like, leave, <laughs> dude. I legitimately left within ten minutes. I have not gone back. I I will not go to the gym if there's a man that I don't know in there. I don't blame you. So I just don't go to the gym. Yeah. But I'm very active, right? You're also very active. You, you haul hay like nobody's business. I'm out and about all day. I wish... You know where I should take you? Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, you know where I should take you? My grandparents' farm. And then I remembered they're both dead. <laughs> that is tough. I forgot. You would have loved no it. Yeah. I bet I would have loved it. They died. D- oh, my God. The people question mark me have no idea. Dude, men are so scary. You don't even know. I literally, I walk out. If it's if it's sunset or after dark, anytime I'm walking outside, I'm like, how can I'm I get scared. trafficked right now? Yeah. Every time. Well, I've told the story about how I almost got sold into sex trafficking. Do you remember this? No. So, okay. Telling the story back, I realize how stupid it was. I really do. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. It, it's really, really dumb when I tell this story back. But oh, as, my God, the bank thing? Yeah. She had a bunch of calls about the bank, and no, she, like, followed their directions. Just wait, 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 wait. I'm at work. They call my work, work phone. Work. Why do you say your R's like that? Fix them. You know I went to speech therapy for three years? Really? This is the best I've got. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it. Okay, I can't ahead. go back. We're I don't have insurance anymore. It's like you put your, your I think you, you put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. I'm about to fix it right now. <laughs> we we change our okay, right here. Okay, say it. Work. Work. That was actually better. Just don't put your tongue on the roof of your mouth when I you don't. say it when you say the R. I put the tongue on the, on the back of your bottom teeth when you say it. Work. Work. That was, that was horrible. Work. That was horrible. Work. Work. Yeah. Work. I'm reading it like work. Yeah, yeah. W E R K. Work. Yeah. It was actually pretty normal. Work. Yeah. Anyway, I was at work. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty that normal. That sounds stupid. Well, you're, um, you're emphasizing the E. Okay, I was at work and. <laughs> and. Back to the drawing board. I get a phone call, or, or and they call the, the, the office, and my boss is like, yo, Blair, you got a, you got a call. And I'm like, what? And I pick it up. And he, tra- he transfers it to my desk. I pick it up, and he's le- and it's this thing that's like, hey, you have a back due tax payment, which, guys, I know. I know now how stupid I was, but in the moment, I was very naive and dumb, okay? I was stressed. I was stressed and naive and dumb. I know I fell for this, but I know. Ugh, I know. It's very dumb. And it was crazy because actually my, my boyfriend at the time, like, kind of got mad at me that I fell for it. Like, instead of being like, Hey, are you okay? He was like, you really fell for that? And I was like, I just went through trauma. Anyway. um, Thank you. Uh, So, yeah, they call and they're like, hey, you're late on a a tax payment, which I'm like, probably. I've been using TurboTax. I have no clue what I'm doing. Like, I probably am late on a tax payment. And uh, they're like, we're going to, like, you know, back ordered. We're going to send police to uh, arrest you. They're already at your home. They give me my home address, and I'm like, damn, that's my home address. And they're like, we just need to verify some of your information. They start giving me, like, like my mom's maiden name. They start giving me my mom's address. They give me my dad's address. They give me family member's address. Like, they get, they're verifying. They know everything about me. And then they say, and you are currently at, and they give me the address that I'm currently at. And I'm like, this is terrifying. Like, what is going on? And they're like, okay, we're now going to call you on your cell phone so we can track you, and you're going, like... We need you to go to the the city the city um, the city hall. no the secretary of state building the mm-hmm. secretary of state 
And I'm like, okay, like the, the federal court office or something like that. And, and it sounds so, I think it was a federal courthouse. That's what it was, the federal courthouse. That's where you're supposed to go. And I'm like, wow, that sounds official. Why would a scammer take me to the federal courthouse? That seems like anti, like, why would they do that? Like, you know, and, um, and so like, okay, we're now calling you on your cell phone answer. They have my cell phone number without me even giving it to them. They call, I answer. I'm like, okay. They're like, uh, we have police waiting outside. They'll be following you to the, to the federal courthouse. And I'm like, okay. You know, I go outside. Sure enough, there's like an unmarked car and I'm like, like, and it looks like a police car. I go and I get in my car. They're like, stay on the phone with us. We just want to make sure you're not trying to flee. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, by the way, like, uh, like, you know, we are tracking you. If you try to di diverge, like we will follow you, whatever. And I can't pull up, I can't pull up GPS because I, um, am on the phone with them. Right. And so they're like, I'm trying to figure out where the courthouse is. I make the wrong turn. They immediately, they're like, ma'am, pull over right now. Like blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, mm -hmm. so I hurry and pull over. And like, we know you pulled over on this street. Like you have to turn around, and go to the federal courthouse. Anyway, I go to the courthouse and I, I was like trying to, sorry, I was texting and driving. I was trying to text my, incriminating my boyfriend while I was driving. And I was like, I don't know what's going on. I have to go to the courthouse. And he's like, what is like, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? And he's like trying to call me. And when he, I'm like telling them like, my boyfriend's trying to call me. My boyfriend's trying to call me. And, um, they're like, don't answer. You have to stay on the phone with us. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. Like, uh, la, la. and then since so many phone calls are trying to go through, um, the, I'm pulling up to the courthouse and you can either park underground or there's some parking on the street. And I'm like, where am I supposed to go? Where do you need me to park? And he's, my boyfriend's calling. I'm like, my boyfriend's calling. I'm really stressed. And then because he's calling it, it like the call just drops because there's just too much going on my phone mm -hmm. and I'm like panic. So I pull over, I park on the side of the street. I don't go in the underground parking. I run inside and I, I, they have security guards because it's a federal courthouse. And I'm like, Hey, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There's a call. I, I, I'm back on my taxes. I'm going to get arrested. And they're like, stay right here. And like mm -hmm. three officers put me in a room. They search the entire facility. Like they all roll out like autobots and they check the entire uh, the entire place and I'm like, what's going on? And I'm like crying cause I'm panicked. And, uh, later they come to find out that what had been happening is that these people were luring people into the underground parking because it's safe. You would think at the federal courthouse and they would have you park next to them. They'd yoink you and then you'd be sex trafficked. Dude, when I was in college, there was a, my mom told me never to like, when I go back to my car to never look at a notice on my car and like read it like yeah. I can grab it and get in my car and drive away but don't even sit in your car and read it like you grab it you get in your car you drive away yeah and so I did that all through college and I had like a, a pink slip on my on my window and I thought it was a traffic ticket which is bizarre because I was parking legally when I was in college grabbed it put it in my car drove away didn't even look at it like just just drove yeah. away and then um it was this like bull it didn't even have the police department number on it. It was just like, you have violated, blah, 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 please call, blah, 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 to, to, like, manage your fines or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then there was this huge post on Facebook that they were trying to traffic all these college women with that. And it was a picture of that pink slip because this girl oh my got God. assaulted, like, on my college campus <sighs> because it was on her car and she stopped and she looked at it outside of her car and she was, like, reading it and they, like, grabbed her outside of her car. Yeah. So There's they, a like, lot of stories like there. that. Yeah, they put it on there, and then they, like, wait for you to grab it and look at it, and then they, like, go grab you. Well, and like, and it. literally, literally Ted Bundy used to mm. trick girls by just, like, their niceness. Like, he would just, like, he would be there with, like, his broken arm, and he'd be like, I can't lift this into my trunk. Please help me. And they'd be like, okay. Here's the thing. And then they, he would grab him and slam it shut. If a guy came up to me, and he was like, I lost my dog. He had a dog leash. And he was like, can you walk into the woods and help me find my dog? I swear to God, I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, he would be like, oh my God, what's his name? <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, Let me help you. I'd be like, what's your whistle? Like, give it to me. Yeah. start whistling. But if a guy was like, hey, like, my wife is uh, but dead dying, I'd just be like, best of luck. I don't know what to tell you. I, my thing about, like, if I was, I've thought about this so many times. Uh -huh. If I was getting trafficked and I was in the trunk of a car, I would eat, if I had the opportunity to go crazy, I really think that I would rip the flesh off of somebody. Because you can, you can, like, the, the, I'm a biter. The, exactly. We're both, we're both biters. I'm a biter and a fighter. Right. 
Human bite force is kind of nuts. Like, you can just rip the flesh off somebody's skin. You guys saw me throw you, Rich Campbell at a goat. You won't rip someone's flesh off because it's, like, against societal norms to do that. Like, there's something in your brain that stops you from doing that. But you can break bones with your, with your mouth, 100%. Just in terms of, like, sheer force. Like, I think if I had the opportunity, I would just rip flesh off a mother... You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, if I didn't have the opportunity and someone was trafficking me, I would just... And I know that that's crazy. <laughs> like, I know that that's wild. But if I was so... If I was really confident that I couldn't get out of the situation, I would not give them the satisfaction of using this me is, and my body. This is what I, I would do. just the trunk, they'd open it, and they'd be like, aw. I've already... <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. They'd be, they'd be like, ah. Yeah, I just It's a myself. waste of a fresh meal. Yeah, yeah, you wasted so much energy. Um, Good luck. I, I decided, I've already decided, I think it's important to have game plans for these situations. Mm-hmm. I've already told one where if I am in a parking lot and they come at me, like, trying to grab me or whatever, immediately, immediately act possessed. They oh, do see, not want the possessor. Okay, this is like, a I'm thing not kidding. Where you, you just start barking. Yes. I couldn't do it. I could do it. I, 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 I would be like, like, like <laughs> <laughs> Like, you just, like, start going for it. You start barking and drooling and, like, shaking. Like, they put you back. They're, like, they're like no. I don't think that I can do You're not taking it. this one. I don't think I could do it. I haven't tested it, but if any of you get a chance, let me know how it goes. <laughs> Leave a comment below. One out of ten. Um, yeah, I'm confident. And then you just start, like, talking, like, and you're talking in tongues, like, parcel tongue. Like, oh, you go Harry Potter on their ass. They would, what if they put you down? <laughs> so somebody said, they'd put you down. What if they euthanize you? <laughs> I have a mean bark, number one. I just be drooling. I've seen Exorcism Emily Rose. I could do it. I, like, they would not keep me. They would be back. But I, I would either, I would just bite the f*** out of, I would just like rip flesh off of all of them. Imagine they're coming up to you with like their sh- You get on all fours and you start like, crawl and I'm like, it's like they put you back. They do not I want that. Have, I wouldn't have the, the, the peace of mind. To- but you've thought about it now, so you're <laughs> You are prepared to just start, just start going. I don't think I could do it. I don't think I would do it. You might. I don't think I will. I'd do it. I have a question. I'll be wicked. Wait. Okay. I have to talk about in case. Okay. In case they keep the possessed girl. Okay. And they're like, put me in the basement. This is what I do. They come down to I like. I myself in the basement. Just want to <laughs> give my input. They come down to start like hitting me or like torturing me. And I just like, listen, I know men's weakness and it's their fucking stupid, but their penises control them. And so they walk downstairs, and I'm like, mm, that looks so good. And I just, like, I just start, like, riling them up. They do not torture me anymore. They're like, wait, that does look good. I, I set them off until they love me. We get married. We're in it for the long haul. I say, baby, let's go to Japan. Let's live our life. Japan. Why do you have to bring my people in? We're going to Japan, him and I. We go to Japan. Mother escape you can't catch me in japan we're crossing the street i'm gone those streets are so busy i'm out of here people poof (laughs) and that's how i get out of that situation (laughs) what do you think (laughs) okay (laughs) okay i have thought about this before (laughs) i would dude i i 100 like there's a lot of shame in this but i would seduce the out of somebody yes. that's kidnapped me for trafficking. Yes. Uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. They kidnap you I'm for trafficking. I'm so convincing. They kidnap you for trafficking. It's never It's never one, right? It's never one. I will say, I'm you nervous. Find, you I'm... find the weakest one. <laughs> you find yeah. the one that looks at you like like the guys. He hasn't been loved ever. Right. Yeah. Like like the guy that looks at you at the bar that, that has never, that has had one girlfriend and it was in high school and he thinks that you're the girl next door. You find that eye contact, right? You find that one. Or you find the one who like looks a little bit scared and then you're like, wait, I really like you. You go, yeah. wait, like, this feels different. I don't usually feel like this about anybody. Or they hit you and you're like, I deserve this. Like, you, yeah. like, start building them up. You're like, you're right, king. Yeah, you're just like... You're uh, so strong. You're, you're so <laughs> That strong. was a good like, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so buff. You're so funny. Yeah. And then, and then they fall in love with you. And then you're like, hey, please, like, get me out of here. We can run away together. Like, I want to be with you. Yeah. This is a crazy way to meet, but, like, I can change him. <laughs> You're like, I'll fix you. Yeah, like, I'll fix yeah. you. And then he's like, okay, we'll run away together. Gets me out of the situation. We get out. 
We get out, like, we play the long game, right? We get yes, married. Yes, yes, you're, you're married now. We get, we don't have kids because that's too far. You don't want to bring kids into Yeah. That. But you get married. And you um, say it's because you're infertile and you're like, let's adopt, baby. And you just never sign the paperwork because it's actually kind of hard to adopt. Yeah. And then one day you're just like, hey, baby, I'm going to go to the grocery store and get you those pickles that you like. And he's like, okay, I love you. And then you leave. And this is after, like, eight years, right, that you're together. And then you go to the grocery store, and it's like, you know what? It's time. Dude, joke's on you, bitch. He never trusted you. He has a tracker in your car. You're an idiot. you got to go to Japan. I went to the grocery store, though. you got to go to Japan. I did. I just went to the grocery store. I just told someone at the grocery store. Knowing myself, I will have developed Stockholm Syndrome. I run oh, away. 100% you would fall I, out I run away in Japan. And then that I'm like, I kind of miss him. That is actually crazy. I go crawling back. I'm like, hey, I'm Honestly, just kidding. Same. I got lost. Japan's wait, scary. Same. I'd be like, yeah. wait, I actually could have changed him. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess the kidnapper gets kidnapped. <laughs> we're both we're both done for. Yeah. Um, but at least we have a plan. And sometimes that's more important than anything else. So. Anyway, we're going to learn self-defense tomorrow if you want to watch it. Yeah, it's going to be a good stream. I always carry a knife. I have so many knives in my car, it's actually concerning. I always have a knife. I do have pepper spray, but it's in my truck. Um, and then I have a, I have an alarm. And the thing about the alarm is, like, it seems I gave dumb. you that. You did give me an alarm. Yeah. Alarms seem really dumb, but genuinely... They scare they're, me. They're yeah. really loud, and if someone attacked you in a parking garage and you pulled that pin, that shit is loud. Like, they are running away. Yeah. I, I really believe in that. Yeah. Like, because I, I would, I, I always carry a knife, but to be completely honest, I would have a really hard time stabbing somebody. I, I feel wouldn't. Like I would feel really bad, or I'd just be like, this feels really dramatic. Like, if someone was attacking me and I went to stab them, I'd be like, this is really dramatic. I've this almost stabbed like the wrong person. I was so ready to stab. What? Like, walking through my house, like, at night, okay, thinking someone was in there. Okay, you don't need to hold a knife when you're walking through your house? No, because I, like, heard noise, so I grab a knife and I'm doing my, oh I'm, like, my God. ready to murder. Okay, that's a little unnecessary. Slime was eating a sandwich. I was like, oh. That's a little unnecessary. Yeah. Um, I do hold my knife open when I'm walking to my truck at yeah. night. When I used to work at the bakery, because I, I would be there till 3 in the morning, I would I would leave and I would um, I would walk out with a big knife and someone on the phone. No matter who, even if it was like always boys on, on Discord. Someone on the always phone. Always on the phone. They knew my location and I just have a knife out and I was ready. The scariest one was on, I left, I left at like... Yeah, like three in the morning. I walk out. I have my knife. I set the alarm on the bakery. I turn around. The window to my car is broken. And I was like, immediately like stomach drops. I go back inside and I'm like, well, like what do you do? You right. know, like, you know, do we call 911? And they like, it's just broken. I, I did. I, I think I ended up calling 911. I waited till I got there. But I remember sitting inside waiting until I got there. And I was just so scared. Yeah. Like, just so scared. Like, is the person still out there? Like, do I have to be possessed soon? Like, I don't know. What am I going to have to do? Do I have to go to Japan? It's terrifying. It's a long flight if you go to Japan. Why Japan? The, those crossroads are so full. They've never... Pff, God. So full. Okay, I have a, I have a scenario. Uh -huh. I have to pee so bad, by the way. I, I had to pee don't for a want really you to time. leave me. Okay, that was cringe. No, because I'm kind of scared. We serious? talked about Yeah, we talked about scary things. Oh, my God. Don't give me that. That is mean. You're being mean to me tonight. Okay, so... One in chat, if she's, like, actually mean. Audio listeners, there's so many ones, actually. They haven't listeners. even typed a one yet. Not a single one. No, there's a few. Okay, so here's a scenario for you. You're driving around. Uh-huh. Okay? It's it's pitch black. It is, like, middle of the night. You've you told this on Housewives before. Welcome back to the Housewives podcast. <laughs> Could have been so good. It Could have been so good. It's 2 a.m., all right? You're driving around windy roads. It's in, like, backwoods, right? Uh -huh. it, it, windy roads in, in the backwoods. No no lit streets, no nothing. It's dark outside. Yeah. And I don't know why I just sounded so Texan right there. And so so you're driving around. You have no service. Yeah. Woman jumps out in the street covered in blood. Like, yeah. Just completely disheveled. And she goes, please help me. And she's in your headlights, and she's like, please, please, please help me. What do you do? I'm going to be honest with you, I don't. You just drive away? And yeah. you leave her there? And you don't? I'll call 911. But I, I go. I don't know what is chasing her. I don't want to, I've seen enough movies that I know I help her and then like 
freaking the guy comes after me for helping her and I was like, I was just trying to go to Wendy's, like this is crazy. I'm not interested in that side story. I'm just trying to go to Wendy's. I've gone over this scenario a bunch of times. What's crazy is that I've gone over it and I know the right answer, but my answer is always the same. Number one, I drive a pickup. I would tell her to get in the yeah. back of my truck. If I had a car where she could get in the back, then obviously I'd do that, but. I drive an F-150, I'd be like, get in the truck bed. And then I'd zoom off, you know? Um, but if I wasn't driving the truck. she breaks the back window to get into you. Oh my God, you're on a wind, you just break and you push and you break and she falls and dude, she flies off. You're on a windy road, you just throw her out of the truck bed. You're confident in your driving skills. I'm pretty confident that okay, I can throw her Vin out of the truck Diesel. bed. Okay, Vin Diesel. I'm very confident I could throw her out of the truck bed. Or at least stop her from, like, doing anything, like, that she wants to do. It's, it's not easy. Um, but if I... Here's the thing. If I wasn't driving my truck, if I was driving, like, a like a sedan, or, or what is it? A, a, yeah, like a sedan. And I... And she was in my headlights, and she was, like, please stop. And she was, like, crying. And I was on a windy road, and there was no service. It was pitch black outside. She was covered in blood. I would put her in my car. And I like and I know that that's insane and I know that that's the wrong thing to do and I know it's like a scam or a setup and I know that it's so dangerous and she could just rob me or kill me or steal my whatever. I know all these things. I've thought through the scenario logically so many times. Every single time, I'm putting her in my front seat if I'm not driving a truck. So I will drive a truck for the rest of my life. I could not drive past her. You should just her. avoid windy roads. I could not drive past her. I could not roll my window down and be like, I will call for help when I get there. I wouldn't even roll my window down. I'd be like, Zip. I could never drive past her. I could do it. I would stop. I'd put her in my car it'd be, and it'd be the end of me. Every yeah. time. I could not do it. Or you save her. Turns out she's a millionaire. She buys you a new house. That'd be awesome. I want to get a house in this scenario. One time when I was in college, I put a homeless woman in my car and she started asking me for money in the car because I was, she had to go, she told me she had to go to, the, hold on. <laughs> okay, back up. I was volunteering at a homeless shelter, okay? It's like four, my, my, my volunteer sh shifts were from four to 8 a.m. when I was a junior in, junior in college. And so it's like 6 a.m. and I'm, I'm volunteering at a homeless shelter and this woman is like, I need to get to the hospital because I need these pills. And I was like, You're like, that makes sense. You do need them. Yeah. And I was <laughs> Sounds like, like you need them. And I was like, all right, I'll give you a ride. I don't know. I, I wish I would have just been like, I'll call you an Uber. No, I, I offered to give her a ride to the hospital because we had been talking for a while and I thought she was cool, whatever. So she gets in my car. I go to give her a ride to the hospital. It's like pitch black outside. And she starts asking me for money. And I was like, wait a second. When I was driving, because I'd never thought about this before. When she was driving, when I was driving, I was like, wait. This is actually kind of a really bad situation. Yeah. Because she's sitting in my car and she's like, I have two kids. Like, I need $50. And I was like, I have no cash. And she was like, you have to have cash in the car. And I was like, I, like, I, I don't have any cash. And she was like, you're telling me that you have no cash in this car. And I was like, I would tell you if I had cash in this car. I don't have any cash. Like, I'm just taking you to the hospital. And she, like, kept pushing it. And it wasn't like, she wasn't getting more aggressive. She was just like please tell me that you have cash, like, I really need, I really need cash, and I, like, I, f I was scared that she was gonna get more angry, I truly, I didn't have any, like, I didn't have any cash, should have found but, some. like, I thought she was gonna get more angry, and I was, like, this is really bad, because, like, she's just in my seat, it's pitch black outside, nobody knows that I have her in my, tr in my car, like, yeah. in my truck, like, taking her to the hospital, I was, like, this is, like, a really bad situation to be in, um, and it ended up being fine, I, I dropped her off at the hospital, and it was fine, but, like, I never did that again, it was a really You know what's funny? I have a very, like, nearly the same exact story. I was 17, and I was at a gas station, and this woman comes up to me, and she's like, I need money for the bus. I have to go to the hotel. I have to go to my hotel. I have to go mm -hmm. to my hotel. And I thought to myself, well, if I give her money, maybe she'll use it on drugs. And I'm 17 years old. I don't know what I was thinking. I still feel fine about this because nothing weird happened. But um, I was like, well, do you just want to ride instead? And she was like, yeah. So she gets in the car. We have a lovely conversation. I get her subway and I take her to the hotel. It was fine. Shouldn't have done that. I learned. I have you ever picked up a hitchhiker? No. Me neither. No hitchhiker. But I also used to do this thing where I, I, I worked I worked in retail when I was in high school and I would get off the highway and there'd always be a homeless person there. And then over here was like a big strip mall. There was an olive garden. And so sometimes I would roll down the window because the homeless person would always have a sign asking for money. I'd say, hey, I don't have money, but if you want to meet me at the olive garden, 
I'll buy you dinner. Mm -hmm. And I would go and, like, before my shift, sit at the Olive Garden with a homeless person and, like, talk to them and have food. Yeah. I did that a few times. Yeah. I did that I always had really college. good stories, and they're interesting. Dude, and yeah. In college, because we had, like, a little bar town in school, and they would all sit on the street, and I'd be like, hey, I don't have cash, but if you want dinner, and then I'd get dinner, and I'd sit with them. Well, every, all the drunk kids are, like, walking on the street, and I'd, like, eat a hot dog. Yeah. It was sick. It was, it was the best time. They actually now have really great guys. stories. I have to pee so bad. I'm, I'm actually No. Wait, wait, wait. Can I call Ludwig? I don't want to see here alone. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm spooked. You know how much I hate the coyotes, and they were making the noise earlier. Not coming. That is not what you have to worry about. That's actually I have to crazy. worry about everything, Maya. I am a lady. Oh, my God. I'm going to call my boyfriend. <laughs> Girl's trip. Yo. Hi, boyfriend. Will you? Up. Okay. Maya and I were talking about scary things because she's dumb. Could you come sit with me while she goes pee? Because I don't want to sit out here alone because it's scary. Sure. Thank you. Hi, babe. Thanks. See how easy that was? Oh my god. What? What a guy. Are you going to eat this? No. I'm going to eat it. Girls trip, trip with the ladies. Now we see how long it takes for Ludwig to get here, and then we determine how good of a boyfriend Ludwig He's is. He's really, genuinely a really good boyfriend. Wow. Yeah. If he doesn't get here in 10 seconds, we fire him. 10, <laughs> nine, gonna get paid. eight, seven, six, five. Oh man, I don't even think he's outside four, yet. What is he doing? Three, two, one. Ludwig! Hello. Hi. Saved. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Maya has to go pee. I have to pee. Here's. Do you, do you want this? Here you go. Oh, For you. Sure. Okay. Hey, wonder about it. Audio listeners. Hello. Atrioc is here. Why? Because we're just tricking the audio listeners. What? How? Because they don't know it's you. Oh, uh, okay. Hello. Atrioc here. <laughs> I'm Coffee Cow. Good job, it. Coffee Cow? What does that mean? <sighs> you never watch H-Jog in your life. No, I don't. Sorry, that was loud. My bad. Yeah, your your natural voices are just way louder than ours. Yeah, you guys are quiet. You're yelling. You're talking in streamer voice and a freaking loud mic. Well, I'm, I'm streaming. <sighs> what were you watching in there? We were watching an anime together. Who's we? Me. Atria. My dad always says, who's we, wide eyes? And so whenever I say, who's we, I always think, What's who's wide we? eyes? Like, who, like, like your eyes are wide. Like, you're like, you know. Oh. Like, you're like, we should go to this. And it's like, who's we, wide eyes? I see. I, I thought it meant, like, far apart from each other. That's racist? That is so not racist. One guy said it. No, a few people did. No, it was one. Everyone else was like, yeah, we get it. It was me, Atrioc, Nick Yingling, Aiden, and Josh. Bit of a crew. I see. I see. Spy X Family. I don't know if anyone's seen it in chat. Is it an anime? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, hot one this season. Mm -hmm. Who's always watching anime? Yeah, Aiden Ross is over. I'm, I'm not going to be able to finish it, so if anyone knows, it ends episode one. How does episode one end? Oh, did I ruin it? I'm sorry. They got the kid. You didn't ruin it. I just... Maya just had to pee in a scary. It's all right. Yeah, that's it's what I figured. It's scary out here. It, well, yeah. If there was a light, it'd be better. Mm-hmm. Sure. That's fair. Yeah. But you, yeah. I think a light would be great. We're outside, by the way, Trap. Everyone dies. The one about it podcast space is outside. Bummer. So it gets a little scary at night. How much longer you guys got? How long have you been gone? Oh, you're not recording? Oh. You've no. been going for three and a half hours. Yes, yeah, so we have a game and then we're done. You got a game? A game. How was oh, the Oh, Maya. What? We don't have any of the tools for the game. We need the whiteboards oh. and the... We Where can are just they? say it. Should I bring them? No, it's no, okay. We can just say that's it. That's too much. How was the food? Oh, fantastic. Thank you. So oh, good. We only had a quesadilla. Quesadilla. The burrito tacos might not be so good now. Well, we'll eat them. Mine's tonight. not gonna eat them. Why? They have a lot of meat on them. It's. I mean, you already bought them. It's fine. I'll eat them later tonight. All right. 
Thank you. Do you need this? Are you good? <gasps> I wanna go to bed, chat. Alright, bye, chat. Thank you, Lynn. <sighs> we don't have to do it. We can save it for tomorrow. I mean, we got 12 hours tomorrow. Also, the other thing about this wine about it, I think this was a good episode. All the episodes are good. But also, people understand that today has been a lot, and like you're out of it, and it being shorter just makes sense. I mean, it's three. We're at three and a half hours. Right. Well, that's fine. Like we could end right now. Well, we could talk about one more thing. Okay. What you got? Poker. Do you know anything about poker? Um, poker. I honestly, I don't even know if it's a card game. Is it a card game? Yeah. It's a card game and it's like Go Fish with, with and you have to bet you bet on it? It is like Go Fish. I guess you could say that. I, I don't know how that game works. It's a fun game. It's a fun game and Alex Botez put together a lovely game and she live streamed it and it was a really good stream and it was it was very, very fun. And um she got us, she got us all bankrolled, actually, which was really cool. So, like, you know when you, like, play 21, you have to play with your own money or 20, whatever? 20. So, she, like, got us all money, and we were able to play, um, we were able to play poker together, and it was a really, really fun game. And, uh, I lost all my money because I like to bluff, and nobody played, else on the wait, table wanted to I bluff. I played blackjack when I was little. Is that the same? Or is it No, different? poker's harder. Oh. Um, it, there's just a lot of yeah, rules. But then... Now we come into my poker face. Ew, yeah. you almost just touched my foot. Ah! <laughs> Audio listeners, I'm hitting her foot. Bruce, what do you have to say about yourself? Bruce? Bruce, Bruce what's your favorite wine? Na, 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 na. Bruce, do you want to be a, on an episode of Wine About It? No, I think he would hate it. He would love it. Bruce and I go way back. Really? Yeah. We used to be on the Austin, we used to be on the Raj shows together. Bruce and I do not go way back. However, I hung out with Bruce once, and we did cringe in the kitchen, and then he helped me do all the dishes, and then as he was leaving, he shook my hand, and he said, thank you so much for having me, and looked me in the eye, Bruce and said, I was like, wow, that was really nice. Bruce said, I don't know you, which was really mean, and fame changed you, and you fell off, <laughs> <laughs> and I hate you now. Whoa. That That's tough. I gave you the white card. Oh. Yeah, when he got canceled for... <laughs> Saying a white slur. Oh my I god, said, wait, you owe her. You owe me. Anyway. I hate him. Can you continue? Um, yes. So so then, based on Alex's game, Ludwig threw together an even bigger n game with um with Mr. Beast and um Mr. Beast is rich. He's so rich. Yeah, and famous. And, like, some poker pros and, and slime put in 100K. And Alex, Alex was, like, really stressed about it. Wasn't sure if she should do it. And XQC was there. Yeah. And um, and Alex gets, like, 50K sponsored and I think 50K of her own. And she goes and plays. She ends up winning half a million dollars. Really? Yeah, it was so badass. Alex that's, is badass. That's crazy. I didn't know that she did that. Yeah. She popped off. Why are you doing this? <laughs> this is NMP's dream. Oh, Ninja was there too. Ninja was there. <laughs> and one of the guys that was there, he was like an investor. He lost a, a one million dollars. Embarrassing. It was embarrassing, actually. We should play poker. No, I don't want to. I love it. Is black blackjack easier? Yeah, I love blackjack too. I love. NMP's stream when we play Jack ba Blackjack. Is your is your phone that it's getting? It's my phone. I have no friends. Sorry about that. Too bad. Freaking Ashley from high school is not texting me. Dude, what? It what? was Jason. What? He texted me. He said, "Wow, I came back to the stream and things have really devolved." What the? F why would We're you talking say about that? Poker. We're literally having a great time. I don't know why you would say that. That's so mean. Literally, get a hobby. You're super clingy that, for an ex-boyfriend. That is so mean. I can't believe you said that. I'm so mad right now. Jason. Jason's like become our mascot. The wine about a mascot. Oh my god, that's sick. Yeah. You know he won't come here? I asked him. I was like, would you come here and do a lie detector test? We want to do test? a lie detector test. Yeah, he was like, no. You know what You know what that sounds like to me? I said this on my stream. That sounds like an admission of guilt to me. It sounds like you cheated. 
That's what it sounds you like. You were horizontal with your foot in her ear, bruh. Shut up. You don't know what I like. <laughs> Ew. Don't make it weird. Um, anyway, that was my poker story. I just wanted you to tell you how badass Alex is. That's actually sick. I didn't know that. This is what we should do. Oh, we should do sister swap. Like wife swap, but sister swap. You, me, and the Botezes? Yeah. We're sisters now. Uh, I would hang out with either of them. I was going to say I dibs Alex, but I would actually be down to hang out with Andrea, too. I'd be down. Okay. That'd be fun. I'd play chess all day. It'd be awesome. How about instead of that, we just... Oh, my God, Jason. He needs so much attention. <laughs> you know what sucks? It wasn't even him. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you know what we could do instead is uh, we could... Uh, we could spend the night just me and you in the Envy house. Not doing that. It's haunted and scary. It scares me. It's haunted and it's scary. I don't like Rich it. Rich just texted me, let's do an escape room tomorrow. Rich, I'm isolating Rich, you, we're idiot. literally quarantined. You're so dumb. Sorry, I was stroking the glass again. I really Stop, don't Stop, you're to. so weird. I don't mean this to. This is why I'm, there was a YouTube comment and they're like, this podcast is just so that they can bait up skirts. That's why they think that. Because you do stuff like that and it's I'm so fidgety. Subtle. I'm fidgety. I'm fidgety. I'm fidgety. It's who I am. Anyway. Um, I I so to... tomorrow, Cutie and I are doing a 12-hour long stream. Yeah, as soon as I wake doing up. All of the, doing all of the girls trip activities. It's going to be sick. It's going to be ill nasty. Um, I have one more topic. Okay. The Johnny Depp trial, which you don't know much about. Dude, but I don't... Here's... Can I, I just want to tell you one story from it. Okay, but before you tell me the story, can I, like say what I think about it even though I don't know anything about it yeah my hard thing about the trial uh-huh first of all I don't know anything about it right so like uh-huh. take this with a grain of salt uh-huh. but I find it very 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 difficult to watch the recaps of a trial and to like watch what's supposed to be, be a, a fan an objective camps. trial when everybody is sucking Johnny Depp's dick. okay I don't know what happened between the two of them but you cannot Watch any recaps of that trial without Amber looking like a psychotic bitch. And that makes it so that I don't want to watch it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Because I don't know what happened between them. And I'm just like, I can't watch this because it's so biased. It makes me want to throw up. Like, what if something actually, you know, like, I don't know what happened. I can't watch it. it. It stresses me out and it pisses me off. Like, I know that, like, there's a lot of crazy behavior. I realize she, like, in his bed and whatever. But, like, oh, I don't know what he did. And that- I just don't know enough about it for it to make sense to me. Like, I just, I just can't watch it. It's too much. It's too, everybody's just, like, so on Johnny's side, it makes it impossible for me to watch. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Like, it could be that she's actually that crazy and everyone's right. I just can't watch it. Maya, she pooped in his bed. I realize that. What do you know about it? That's all. Well, she blamed it on the dog. Okay. And they have Yorkies. Oh. It was a human poop. (laughs) And she sent pictures to her friends laughing about it. And then those pictures got subpoenaed. People that are saying she is, look, she very well could be, right? Like, that's fine. I just, like, it, it pains me to watch a trial that's, like, actually about shit where it's it's that biased. It's just everything that I've seen on it is so biased, it makes me not want to watch it. She cut his finger off. What? She cut his finger off. What do you mean? She cut it off. With a glass wine bottle. She broke a bottle and then cut his finger off. Oh, that's, like, not good. <laughs> yeah. What is, so what did he do? Was he abusive too? He, from all the video proof, he would slam doors and stuff. Look, I dude, I can't talk about this trial. I truly, like, I get everybody's like, she's actually crazy, like, poor Johnny Depp, whatever. Like, very well could be. But it's just so biased, I don't even want to make an opinion. It's, you should it's watch too, it. I don't the, have the time to watch their entire trial. Honestly, I don't care what happened adept, in their relationship. Adept has been doing like, um, like she'll be like designing Sims homes and just be listening to the trial. And it's so, it's such a good streams. I genuinely encourage. Um, number one, they're both crazy. She's just crazier, I would like to say. And there is so much evidence. And even the evidence that, um, even the evidence that like, she shows against him shows more about her <laughs> like like the one where she was like filming him hitting stuff you can like she's like antagonizing him and like giggling and it's like 
yeah. Well, here's the other thing, and this might not be fair. To get into a position where you guys are having a court case about, like, and it's this much back and forth and there's this much insane behavior, like, that's being described, you both have to be kind of fucking crazy. I'm gonna be honest, like, you would never catch me in a court case like that because I would just never be with a person Yeah. that's that crazy. Yeah, she, you know also, I mean? she also admitted to, like, they have a recording of her on a phone call with him where she's talking about hitting him and he's like, you can't hit me. And she's like, what, you're calling a slap a hit now? <laughs> like, like, she's, like, she's out there. And, like, also, yeah, they did, they, like, confirmed with all of his ex-wives that he, he's never been, like, physically abusive. And But it's weird because it's a defamation lawsuit. It's not, like, mm-hmm. a, a an assault lawsuit or anything like that. Oh, yeah, she said, I didn't punch you, I hit you. That's what they said exactly. Um, but, Chat, I'm sorry if I'm making people sad. And she, she literally said... Yeah, she literally said she could never get caught because he's a man. And no one, she was like, she was like, no one would believe you. That's Like, she said that to him. My thing, look, I haven't watched any of the trial. I've seen some clips off of TikTok where it's like, look how cute Johnny Depp is. He's drawing his lawyer in trial. And like, look at Johnny Depp laughing. Like, he's so funny. Like, oh, these lawyers are so dumb. Like, look at Johnny Depp. Like, poor Johnny Depp. Like, look at, look at her fake posing for the camera. Whatever. Like, that's all I've seen on TikTok. I haven't seen any other coverage. So, like, that being my coverage is, like, I don't even want to talk about this. I feel like it shouldn't be on TikTok. Well, it's, yeah. I I wish, I wish social media had more, like, the rules. (laughs) Like, oh, okay. You know Let's what I'm saying? Like, open a whole new can of worms. I know that is that. a whole new can of worms. Like, Elon Musk just bought Twitter, and it's like, oh, we never talked about that. What is? I mean, what's that gonna do? I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't affect me. He could throw the whole website away, and I'd be fine. I mean, yeah. I'd, I'd make less off of sponsored tweets, obviously, because right, right, right. I wouldn't have them. But Twitter is no good for me, and I know it. Twitter's just as bad for me as like YouTube comments That's are. That's crazy because I never. I have my mention. You can filter. I, I cannot see my mentions. Sometimes I wish that I could because I wish I could see when people at me and, like, post pictures and stuff. Uh-huh. But I don't know how to turn it on. Oh. And, like, I do not see my mentions of people that I don't follow. I only see mentions of people that I follow. So I never read Twitter comments. I just think it's scary when, like... If you I, at me on Twitter, I'm sorry. I have no idea. I think all social media is scary, and I think we should get rid of it. <laughs> You know what was the best thing ever? What? Closing my DMs everywhere. Yes, I agree with you. But you know what was even better? Getting banned off LSO. <laughs> Picture this. The year, 2006. All we have is... <laughs> all we have is MSN Messenger chat. It was dope. We would have no money. I'd be so poor, but I would rather have a normal job. That's not true. Yes, I would. No, it's not. If you would rather have a normal job, you could go get a normal job right now. No, the only reason I don't have a normal job is because the money passed this. This money passed my normal job for now. Also, the person said you'd be broke. I wouldn't be broke. I made a lot of money at my old job. Not this like now. money passed it. Yeah, of course. But I just figured I will make this money while I can until I officially lose my mind. I haven't lost it yet, but I'm... There's been days. Um, There's been days. But yeah. <laughs> Um, it wasn't the baker, guys. I made... Uh, I'm not going to say how much. I made a lot of money. I was an interior designer. Six figures. I was the director. Yeah, I was chilling. I was chilling. I was vibing. It was great. Um, yeah. I don't know. Streaming's messed up, but we've talked about that a thousand times. And I, I don't need to dive in that tonight after canceling a, an event that I put my heart and soul in, so... I can't believe all this happened today. It's been such a it's long day. It's been such a long day. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, we should be drunk at in a mansion right now. At frat night. We should... We'd, frat night would probably still be going because it's only midnight. Yep. And then we'd have to wake Except up at 8 a.m. 3 a.m. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's 3 a.m. It's in 3 a.m. I miss Florida so much already. I love Florida. I miss it. Um, Jamie's tweet. Oh, this just in. Jamie has tweeted. This just in. Bieber. From the top, make it pop. Oh, oh. Whoops. She sent it to me and she asked if I could 
Hey guys, I tested Sorry. positive for COVID this morning. I had tested negative twice right before girls trip and felt fine. Only started feeling sick after the first day of events when I went to bed. When I felt sick, I immediately left around 2 a.m. to prevent any further exposure in case it was COVID and then tested positive for COVID the next morning. I'm so sorry for the trouble I've caused and the people I've affected. I know how much time and effort and hard work Cutie put into this. And I am really sorry to the girls and the viewers who are looking forward to this event for so long. I hope I can help make it up in the near future. For Cutie, all the girls and the viewers who are supporting the whole event. I feel bad because it's not Jamie's fault. Oh, not at all. Um, not in literally any shape or form is it her fault and so i feel bad because i don't i don't think she's been attacked has she like no. i don't think so no everyone's just like feel better it's not your fault. yeah okay yeah it's not her fault i hope she doesn't imagine imagine being sick with covid and then everyone making you feel it's guilty like, how like, could you do this shit like <laughs> how could you ruin meanwhile she has like event? a fever of a hundred and like everyone's just like you ruined girl's trap dude like, i could should i sleep here no what huh you want to sleep in here that would be kind of crazy. Scary. i kind of scary. Some coyotes. <laughs> I'm scared of coyotes, admittedly. This is what I did to Cutie when she was crying today in the car. <laughs> She's like, Cutie starts crying. I'm just like, quiet Cutie. coyote. I just go, blur. Dude, it was fun to teach everyone about quiet coyote. People didn't know about it. Oh, God, I keep putting my hair on my mic. I'm sorry, guys. I forget. I forget. I forget. I forget. I forget. Yeah, everyone's really nice in the comments. Everyone seems to understand. Yeah, she doesn't need to apologize. It's not freaking her fault. I wouldn't. She's cool. She's wicked, Chad. She's wicked. She's so nice. At the end of the day, <laughs> Emma, Myth, and Hassan, they have something to apologize yeah, for. Yeah, it's their fault. It's their fault. It's their fault. And they should all know what. Um. All right. We still have so much to do tomorrow. We have so much stuff to do tomorrow. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. What are we going to start at? Like, what? When it's I wake up. 12-hour stream, so, like, 11, 12. Oh, I, I, I'll i say this because I've, I've, I've seen a few, a few people spam it in the chat, and so I'll say it because people are going to spam it in my chat, too. So, on the record, uh, TSM double lift drama. Record. I think it's crazy to tweet a cease and desist and i don't know what the repercussions will be and that seems scary and stressful <laughs> that is pretty crazy that is crazy for uh people who don't know uh tsm has uh goodbye had a lot of stuff happen in the like in 2021 a lot of stuff came out about like the ceo and the owner and um uh it's just been a freaking mess it seems like um but yeah, t and I guess, and Double Lift uh, left the brand, and he like did a stream where he like spilled the tea essentially, um, and then they sent him like a cease and desist. And for some reason, he tweeted out the cease and desist today, and I, I don't know why and how that will work, um, like legally. <laughs> but uh, that's spooky and badass and the last thing i would do with a cease and desist <laughs> but yeah it literally says confidential on the letter yeah I, what does that mean any lawyers in chat i actually genuinely don't know what that means like can he go to what happens can he go does he does he doesn't go to jail it's ex prison it's expired do cease and desist expire do you have to like re-up them like a subscription i don't know how this works i've never gotten one what if a viewer sent you a cease and desist to, like, stop saying their name and then every month they, like, resub and you just, like, can't say their name or you go to jail? I just gave someone an idea and I drooled on oh myself. Oh, my God, no. Guys, don't send me the... Well, actually, it'd be fine because I say their name wrong anyway, so... Yeah, so... I'd get away with it. Uh, I also just say the first four letters, even if it's not, like, even if it doesn't make up a word. I just... I'm sorry about that. What happened? Genuinely, are there any... There's no lawyers in my chat. You get sued. I think is he gonna get sued? What happens now? Dude. Are we gonna be watching this trial? Imagine the TikToks. Imagine the TikToks. Double Lift versus Reggie, the trial. Um, yeah. I'll be real. I'm on TSM. I don't know anything about it. It's esports is its own section. I'm just people hogging around over in 
content creator. And they're like, we don't know to this girl. And I'm like, that's what I do all day. Did you guys have fun tonight? How, how was your Sorry, day? Sorry, it was, do you, I, I feel bad. I'm worried people are going to be mad because, um, because we moved it. In fairness, like, it was, it was moved anyway. Like, it's normally on Sunday. It was going to be on Saturday. So I don't know if people knew that. But then we were just, like, we're kind of trying to ride it. So that's why we're live. Yeah, I thought people would want to talk about it. But I hope you guys got here. It'll be on YouTube, you know. That's that's how the it goes. The usual. The huge. The usual, the usual. But, uh, yeah, this pod is long. It is, because it's only once a month, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's oh, a long one. Roe versus Wade. <laughs> what do you think we have to say about it? I was going to say, I, the only thing that I've ever said on stream and that I ever will say on stream is that I am from California, I'm a woman, and I'm not stupid. And I feel like that should tell you enough about how I feel about Rovers, about, about the whole thing. And I think Cutie's on the same page, besides being from California. I think safe and accessible abortions are peepo pog, and I will stand by that peepo pog for the rest of my life. And, uh, you know, I think it's weird for um, a bunch of men to control a woman's body, and that is weird champion, so. The other thing is the whole, like, First Amendment. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Um, we can't talk about politics on this chat. In, yeah. In this on, this it's is just, not a it's, politics it's a, it's a really, It's a really bizarre, it's, it's, a really, it's really bizarre that it's even, that, it, that it's it happening right now. It is crazy, and I, I actually don't understand exactly how that even works like i don't understand how that stuff is overturned and i don't i just it's genuinely a little far over my head it's um, also the tough thing for me and cutie is that it really it doesn't feel that pressing to me and i i understand that the reason is because i can travel whenever and wherever i want and if i got pregnant at this point in my life i would have an abortion and i would travel for it and i have the ability to and it is like so beyond sad that there are so many people that would not be able to do that and would yeah. be forced into conceiving. That that blows, like, the, the, the thought of getting pregnant and having to carry and birth a child at this point in my life is absolutely devastating, and I cannot imagine being in that position, and I know that so many women are going to be in yeah, that position. Yeah, and imagine the women in the position that can't afford to even take care of themselves. Uh, it blows my mind. Like, or are addicted to drugs, or have been, you know, taken advantage of, or are in a toxic relationship, or... All of these different things that are very much so out of their control, but hey, now you don't get a choice. It's like, man. Not to ma- not just the women, too. I mean, there are a lot of kids that are going to come into this world, like, post this decision that that just, like, don't have a good shot. Yeah. You know? I, think, I think of, like, there's so many, so many people that are just raised incorrectly because they aren't brought into the world correctly like and they're just not given the fair chance to have a successful life and it's just like i don't know it's just anyway y'all get the gist (laughs) yeah Yeah, i i you know there's there's an argument on both sides both sides if you want yeah i totally how we feel it just we match up with with the one um it just you know yeah i think uh it was interesting i think i i actually i'll quote i'll quote one um one thing i read that i thought was very very good like way to summarize it oh sometimes i'm not the best at articulating my own words and so i'm going to steal this um one second oh yeah uh it is is this tweet that says stop abortions at the source vasectomies are reversible make every young man have a vasectomy When he's emotionally deemed financially and emotionally fit to be a father, it'll be reserved. What's that? Did the idea of regulating a man's body make you uncomfortable? (laughs) Then mind your f***ing business. It's like, yeah, it's crazy to like, it's just, it's crazy. You get a vasectomy, you get a vasectomy, you get a vasectomy. Hooray. Um, It's just, it's terrifying. It's terrifying to think of a, yeah. 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 Anyway, 
Um, I, there's, uh, I mean, there's, there's very many Planned Parenthood rallies, I believe on like May 14th, so. And the person in chat spamming move on. How dare you? We can talk about whatever we want, because I'll tell you what, chances are you're a f***ing man telling me to move on on a subject that matters to women. So suck my dick. Do you have anything else to say for today? Otherwise, we'll see you all day tomorrow. I don't think so. It's going to be a long one tomorrow, boys. 12-hour stream tomorrow, me and Cutie Cinderella running through speedrunning girls trip. Just the two of us. It's going to be sick. I'm stoked. Um, thank you for watching this episode. I know it was spontaneous. I hope that you guys... I, I hope that you were... I hope you guys aren't mad that it's not on Saturday. Are yeah. We gonna, are people going to be... Did people put it in their calendars? I'll check here. Let me check Wine About It TWT, which is a oh new God. thing. Oh, my God. Stop. I'm diving in. I don't want another thing like that to read. It stresses me out. I don't read it very often because I don't really understand. Okay. Thank you for the five. Um, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry it was kind of spontaneous. This, th I mean, this whole trip has been a mess, huh? Like, we're, yeah. we're just, we're really, it, it was, we already mixed it up because of, of Mother's Day and it's this whole thing and now COVID and now canceling girls trip and, you know, this whole mess. Um, so I, it's I actually appreciate, hell. <laughs> I appreciate the flexibility yeah. Um, and the understanding. Thank you so much. I hope you liked it. Also, sorry if it wasn't like, I mean, it was a good episode. Sorry if it wasn't like the best episode. We're both pretty wiped out. Cutie especially is just like absolutely brain dead right now. She's Yeah, my she brain needs, is fried. She's also running on zero sleep. I'm so, on like, zero sleep. I'm on lots of stress. I have Mother's Day on Sunday. Right. It's a bad week for Trauma. me. <laughs> We're doing our best out here. I no, hope I'm that fine. you liked it. I hope you liked it. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow on Cutie Stream. Um, and then after that, I'll see you, uh, probably on my stream the next day. Uh, if not, I'll just, I'll see you at some point the following week for a stream, um, off my backpack. And people, if anybody, um, if we're, I know people kind of jump, like they're used to jumping on Omegle after the podcast to try to catch us, but we're not getting not on tonight. Omegle tonight. Genuinely, we're not, because I have no sleep, so. Yeah, we're going to bed. I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna go to bed. We talked about a lot of things tonight, uh, some stuff a little out of the ordinary, some, some hot takes. And I will say, I, I could be wrong about, like, some of the some of the Johnny Depp stuff. I don't know all of it, so I'm just letting people I'm know. I'm 23, and I've never been wrong in my life, so. Really? Yeah. Damn. So, suck it. Well, I plan on um, removing my records from the Mormon church, and then re-putting them back in, and pretending to be someone else, and then getting baptized again. So all of my wrongs will be made right saved god yeah, i love so. the human brain it's gonna be awesome uh thank you cutie jelly for the 10 gifted subs thank you for the 10 jelly what's up thank you for listening if you have made it all the way through this podcast don't forget to type audio in. listeners what are they typing this week uh go follow oh they're not what type type oh my, oh my god. god why did i almost i why are you wrong with I you? I almost said something that I, like, that was bizarre. Uh-oh. <laughs> it was the Bruce thing. I don't know why I was going to say that. Bruce. That's so random. What you said about... Anyway. Um, uh, if you're still here, type beep beep. Beep beep in the YouTube comments. That um, is so random. I don't I don't know why I was going to do that. I don't know why you're going to do that. I can't Thank you for the ever five. Choose. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Don't forget... Um, beep beep. You can catch all of our episodes on Apple Podcasts, which is new. Oh! We'll save it for next time. We're going to read some of our five-star reviews from Apple oh, Podcasts. Shit. I'll read one. You know what? We have a minute. We, we've got a minute longer. Let me, let me pull up our Apple Podcasts. I do have one, one review. P.S. Go follow Wine About It on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, our Twitter and Instagram is really small. Follow Twitter. It's wine about at sixty nine on Instagram. It's wine about at four twenty. We couldn't get the actual names, but we'll get them. Oh, that, that's our voice. That was hard Ew. to hear. Yeah, I hated that. Beep beep. Wine about it currently has four point nine stars on Apple Podcasts. Hey, Fluffy, thank you for the prime. This this review, um, five stars, from watching grown women at a. Can't really see the net. The rest. 
I watch the VODs on YouTube and have been a cutie fan for a while. Maya has such an infectious laugh and cutie's laugh is so good her boyfriend stole it from her. That's true. I'm so invested parasocially in their relationship. That's not healthy. <laughs> Don't do that. Maybe I should have pre-read these. Um, uh, I got such a rush of serotonin when they described Minx twerking at the Disney house with no music and when Maya yeeted her phone across the room while calling her middle school ex. Despite the lighthearted nature of the podcast, they are also very open about sex sexuality and relationships, Aww. which is a perspective that Twitch community is sorely lacking. Oh, that's that so really sweet. thoughtful. Thank you so much. What a wow. lovely five-star review. Um, I have another five-star review from... Um, uh, I, it doesn't say names. Oh, from Sense95 that five stars said talks about nothing. Sense? Sense? Sense. Are you dead ass? Tell me you're joking. It was five stars. That's good. I'm writing Grayson. It says talks about nothing, which is great. Because all of... All of, like, Seinfeld made a whole movie about that. So. Great podcast. I accidentally started streaming it to my mom's TV when Maya was talking about the toe incident. I never ran so fast in my life. Five stars. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my sex life is complicated. My girlfriend and I are often on different pages about interests. Fortunately, these sexperts running this podcast have given me a myriad of new ways to spice things up in the bedroom. Sexperts! You are welcome. And those are our four five-star reviews Hooray! for this episode. Thank you guys for supporting us, watching us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Wine About It is monthly. Our next one will be in June. Oh my god. Our next one will be in June. Second Sunday of every month. Um... Thank you for being here, and thank you for watching, and thank you for supporting us. Thank it you. It means the world.